Welcome back to the discerning and careful viewer. <laughs> As I think I've mentioned before, my primary function in telling the Chronicles of Peril is to entertain. So I certainly hope you find it entertaining. But I'd be lying if I said there wasn't a didactic nature to it as well. They're also meant to instruct. And going into the events on, that I'll tell you about next, I'm musing on defeat. What has been the number one cause of defeat? Hubris. Hubris has been the number one cause. Hubris has killed more conquerors and toppled more empires than any sword, spear, or spell. So I'd like you to think about hubris as I continue my tale. Quickly, though, to let everybody <clears throat> know, we are still in a very thank you giveaway mood. Thanking everybody who's made over a thousand followers possible. And we are continuing our giveaways mm -hmm. tonight. That we are. First up will be a $20, $20 tabletop loot giveaway, gift card courtesy of our friend Zombie Knight. After that, I'm not sure. i got to consult the, the spreadsheet of fortune. We'll keep coming back. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll try to get a couple tonight, but stick around, and I will go ahead and tell you the title of tonight is The Siege of Castle Ravenloft. But before all that, we cut to a very smaller scene outside of a tower that's being burnt in the midst of what is now a light rain. To Sweet Elbin and Adam, the construct created from body parts of others, brought to life by lightning, briefly possessed, and now remorseful that it's at his hands that his creator has fallen. Adam has just <clears throat> padded over the wet dirt. And he's sitting there, somewhat forlorn. Now, Adam, I too destroyed my creator. Were you also possessed? Afraid not. Possessed by the desire to cause some good in the world to counter what he was doing much like you could do he was doing ill so you rose up and destroyed those that would do ill that's right is this what our purpose is the purpose is what you decided to be but I think you were made with the intention to do ill and to go against that makes your good even greater. You're eliminating your own evil and creating your own good. To do good, I would like. I'm so confused. I was created for a purpose and now I'm to choose that purpose. But there are so many things I don't understand. I have knowledge that I was born with. Knowledge that remains in this flesh from others, yo, though I don't have their memories. As do I. It's a strange thing, feeling that your memories aren't your own, but they're in you, so they are your own. But how do we know if we are real? You have to make yourself real by having an effect on the world around you. How can someone deny that you are real if you're causing change? So our actions will decide if we are real. And if we affect it for good, then we are real. Real or you could <clears throat> do evil and be real for a moment in the eyes of the people you're destroying, but when they're gone, you'll go too. But if you do good and save people and keep people living and create life and more things to remember you and you're even more real. 
I feel less confused or more confused, I do not know. I suppose I have much to atone for. My first act after living was to destroy life. It is my original sin. Perhaps Killian will be the one to talk to about atonement. Mm-hmm. But... I have no flowers to put on this grave. I don't know why I even think flowers should go on a grave. I think they should. I can help with that. And I will. As beautiful as you'll let me make it. (laughs) He has a small smile. He delicately touches a few of the petals. Goodbye, Father. I am sorry. He stands up to his near nine feet tall. At the same moment that the two of you have descended, the tower is burning behind you. Again, not bringing it down to its foundation, the stone on this is old, but you know that some of the floors that are made of wood, all of the materials you made sure have been destroyed. You see a fresh grave Elbin standing very close to Adam. One tiny hand <laughs> that pats his back. I'll, I'll look to Adam as I can look back to the fire. Now you're unique like us. No one else like you. You destroyed everything that could have made another one like you. I suppose that is a comfort, though. Strange that I shall always be alone in some way. We're all always alone in some way. Elbin told me that you could tell me about atonement. <laughs> You're like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure that I can. Not yet. I think I understand. Atonement's a process. A Don't process. expect it to happen overnight. Do your best. Treat people right. Try to save people. That's the path you can go. Then I will come along with you, and you can continue to teach me, and I should affect the world so that I can be real. We would welcome it. Where are we off to now, young Killian? Keep us? We can't go back. We can't go back empty-handed. What other options do we have? We know rebellion's brewing. Let's give Adam a chance to find his redemption here. We can't let this place go on. A little bit for each one of us, too. That's a torment for these people. I think we go to the Keepers. Find out what we can. There are find only leads. This, this wizard. Find the wizard. Find the rebellion. Mm. There's a chance that the witch won't be with him. She does claim to be his mother. That is true. That does ruin our chance to get home. But that would make the situation a bit harder. Romer, I know you had your misgivings about it. And if you don't feel like you're up for it, Elbin and I have no choice. I'm fine with it. Good. I thought you might be. I prefer it, actually. Choice. Kind of let the ashy taste of my mouth to leave. Let these people live like this without doing anything about it. It did for me, too. Finding Adam here. There's good here, and we'll try to protect it. Thank you for staying my hand with him. You're welcome. Could have been any of us. Are you ready? And Rover smiles for the first time that these guys have been here. Let's do this. All right. Uh, the keepers, they said we could find them in the town we went through. Valaki, I think. Valaki, they said. All right. The, 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 the palisade. Yeah. Blue water in. Yeah, it was water something. Get your smiles ready. Huh. Of course. What is a smile? Uh, sort of 
Why don't you show him out then? <laughs> him coming into town? That's a good point. I could stay with him outside of town if you guys want to go in and talk. He is actually walking over. You see that there's a... Basically, it's just a bunch of discarded clothes, mm-hmm. you would imagine, from the bodies that were upstairs. Mm-hmm. Kind of picks up what is a long coat. It even has the kind of cowl over it. It only it seems to be the only biggest one to fit. Kind of comes over. He picks up a small blanket and just kind of mm-hmm. wraps it around his head. He's still nine feet tall. He is still nine feet tall. Why don't you wait for us just at the gates? Or... Maybe that's for the best. <laughs> well, if Strahd has eyes in the town, that's right. It would probably alert him or something. Especially that's if right. someone's seen the fire of the town. That's a good point too. He'll wipe the soot off his face as best he can. Thank you, Lydia, for that subscription. Oh, Lydia! Oh, Lyd! From oh. upstairs. <laughs> <it> up here. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get moving then. We have our purpose. Actually, is it late? Should we rest? I forget like what time it is. Uh, you got there and it is nighttime. Actually, it took us like a day to get here from Milwaukee. Am I right, or was it less? Yeah, no, it was nighttime when yeah. we got here. All yeah, because right. you did one night and then yep. you got the second night as you well, arrived. Why don't we rest here then? We've got plenty of light, plenty of heat. You put up your dome. Will they fit in there? Yes. <laughs> you should do the, the math. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be a bit cramped, and I apologize for that. All right, gather around. He'll push his sleeves back and pull out a piece of chalk. Start drawing in the dirt. And cast Tiny Hut. Tiny Hut! Tiny Hut! <laughs> It is a bit cramped, as I'm sure you want strong Petra in there as well. We do have Your strong horse, Petra strong in there. Petra. Yep. Strong Petra staying with us, so. Oh, really? Unless otherwise. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. No, she'll be fine. Strong Petra will be fine. She'll be fine. <laughs> fine, right? I'm just going to ride her through the gas hole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one of you, uh. If one of you dies, you can play a strong Petra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go, guys. <laughs> The night passes uneventfully, in fact. Um, you hear what you've become used to. The sounds of wolves in the distance, mm-hmm. bats flying, a bit of the sounds of thunder moving off now at the storm that was overhead. And even after your few days here, you wake up at what is clearly dawn, which is... <clears throat> two shades lighter. Two shades lighter, gray, desolate, Everything is now kind of damp around you and seems soggy. It seems even more miserable than when it was dry and cold. Something feels vaguely strange in the wind, though. Elvin, you you feel it especially. Things just feel a bit more electric. Or ready. Alright, back to Velaki then. It's a bit of a hike. We, we do have a, um, a cart, don't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would he you fit do. in the cart if we covered him up? Yeah, he would. Romer, that's an excellent thought. You're a beautiful man. I'm glad you're with us. We'll Thank cover you, him you up. cranio dad. Thanks. We'll cover him up. Is that right with you, Adam? If you think that's best, that is... Just don't move. We'll make you as comfortable as we can. I don't have to move at all, in fact. I promise you that when we leave this place, we won't have to hide you. I suppose that's good. All right, let's go. I'll fast forward unless there's anything specific that you want to do on your travels. No, I'm just letting you know that I'm an idiot and for some reason have my previous character sheet. I thought I printed my new one, but I did not. So I'm just going to use it on my phone until the break. Okay. If I'm peeking at my phone. Oh, you guys want, want oh, these yeah. players? I mean, you want to give him one. Uh, yeah, 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 beat you to it. You did. <laughs> Thanks. My pleasure. With another night passes again. On a uh, actually, everybody roll perception for me. Ooh, we. Mm-hmm. Sixteen. 
Okay. So that hasn't changed, so does it? So no. uh, I got a 14. That being said, I could have had Anarchy keeping watch like out on the top of the dome. Okay, that'll work. She can pass through it freely. That'll work just fine, though. Yeah. So, you're mostly tending to kind of the camp. <laughs> you also feel... You're a trained warrior. You know that it's time to get in your sleep when you can get it in. Exactly. So you're yeah. saving yeah. your and strength. Sleep are, <laughs> yep. Both of you are kind of looking out again. And what you see... Are those wolves? And you can see moving through the woods packs of wolves moving the direction that you would be going. At least heading back south. Just, they're not coming towards you. They're maybe two, like a hundred yards away. They don't seem to be coming anywhere like close. Two big packs? More like streams of wolves. Oh, okay. Like multiple packs that seem to be moving forward. They, are they being led by any like upright wolves? Not that you see. Okay. Not that you it see. Could be among them, though, I guess. Hmm. That's not a good sign. Maybe something's happened already. I think that's right. <laughs> well, we'll find out when we find out. You sent your up. Uh, not far, though. Just up. Yeah, I'll send her up. I mean, I know through the fog and stuff, she probably can't see that far, but... Gets enough kind of doing the yeah. the circle, and she tries to focus in on a single spot even while circling. I mean, it looks... The best way to describe it to you, it looks like an army of wolves. And they're heading to the Velaki? They're headed the same direction as Velaki, not necessarily at this point to Velaki. They're heading east, which is also the direction of the castle. And how far we go from the castle? Full day. Yeah. Can't keep up with wolves. No, we can't. Well, we'll relay that information. Nothing else to do. Alright. Suppose they've lost the element of surprise. That's not too surprising. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get to Bullocky. We've got a bit of a fight on our hands. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Good. <laughs> In character DM jabs. <laughs> Volume 6. Next day comes. You don't see the wolves anymore. It seems like they mostly traveled at night. You again, make it up to Velaki. The gates are open. Um, there's a couple of people. More people heading this way than you see that seem to be heading <clears throat> the other way the last time you came. But you've seen more kind of road traffic. Killian would never. <clears throat> <laughs> Do his best to put uh, on the smile. I don't look like a murderer. <laughs> uh, I could do. You guys make it through the streets, smiling, greeting everybody that you can. Some people you manage to meet who also greet you just share that weighted look that you both know that you're putting on a performance. You're like, hello, and they're like, and hello to you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Like, some people get it. Some people also seem genuinely like, <laughs> <laughs> Such as Elman. <laughs> uh, Adam does not move a single muscle. As you look back, you would have truly effectively think that he was actually dead. We made him as comfortable as possible. All the clothes and straw. And the stuff. way he had to move it is slightly <laughs> like he's got one leg almost impossibly bent as he's. It looks more cat like. You know, just uh, in a spot where you're like, that is so not comfortable. What's I'll that? keep making sure whatever tarp is keeps him covered. Yeah. You guys have tied it down yeah. and put and packed a little things on top of it, just some kind of random. Does it look like a twisted, huge body laying in there? Under <laughs> no, not necessarily. <laughs> I mean, you know, it would not hold up to guard scrutiny sure, sure. in a heartbeat. What's the mattress company that sponsors this? Casper. Okay. Casper. Yeah. So we got him a Casper yeah. mattress. Casper mattress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a, how did we get a Casper sponsorship? Like, every podcast on the planet has a Casper sponsor. I'm going to reach yeah. out to him. Hey, Casper. Hey well, guys. if we keep doing it for free. Yeah, we're doing it for free. Now, Let's that's trash a talk them, and then we'll change our yeah, tune if they sponsor Casper us. are not comfortable in the least. I, I wish that it happened before when you guys stayed in Castle Raven. Like, this bed is comfortable. <laughs> it's a Casper. <laughs> <laughs> Name for Finlay Ghost. <laughs> 
You guys make it into Velaki, you make it to the Blue Water Inn just just fine. They, in fact, have a stable kind of right out to the side. Um, it's empty as you've not seen a, another horse yeah. at all. All right, well, Actually, you've seen a few. You've seen maybe five horses. We'll put strong Petra in there. Give her some carrots. Spend an hour trying to back the wagon in. Yeah. <laughs> keep no, no, it keeps you're, you're, you're jackknifing you gotta, it. You gotta go, you gotta turn the opposite. Oh. Go left. Which left? It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was good. That was good. It's the wagon is quiet. Strong Petra is enjoying. Uh, there are no carrots, in fact. There is only hay. <laughs> only heart, only uh, wolf meat. Yeah, wolf meat. Just, again, spirits have been lifted since she spent time with all of you, and especially Elvin. You guys enter the Blue Water Inn? We sure do. Uh, I'm going to keep Anarchy on my shoulder, but I am going to telepathically be like, be on the lookout for ravens that are ravens. Okay. She immediately... Start scanning, and for those moments, you almost work through her eyes of keen eyes mm. looking. You guys step through, and there is <clears throat> there are a few people. It's a small kind of tavern, and it's it actually looks kind of comfortably ramshackle in here. It's one of the few places. As soon as you kind of cross the threshold, there is just that warmth where, for a moment, outside the doors, you don't feel like it's one of the most impressive oppressive. Mm. Mm environments. It's warm, lit. Some people, uh, there's your typical one person still passed out. A few other people eating meals. They all look somewhat suspiciously, but then back. And there's a woman, maybe, looks like she's maybe in her 40s or 50s. Um, she's got black hair except for one streak of almost white silver, and it's pinned up. All of you notice, but Anna Chiardi is on the lookout. There's a raven feather as kind of a... to hold her hair up. <clears throat> She's like, Hello, masters. Oh, hello. We were just wondering if we could have a quick bite to eat. Well, of course you can. No rooms? I don't think so. Like, okay. That's quite a bird you got there. Oh, she is impressive. She's second to none. I've always been interested in Raven lore. Interesting. I think I heard about it. She's a friend of mine came through, a bit of a uh, wild fella. Told me he met three travelers on the road. I think we know of whom you speak. Oh. He's a friend of yours? He is indeed. A friend of mine. Certainly a friend of ours as well. Good to see he's all right. He is indeed. He thanked you quite a bit. You know what? Since you all just came in, I'm going to give you a private room in the back. Sounds like you've been through a lot. We would appreciate that. That's a good idea. Bring in a meal in just a few. Right back through them, masters. Here, here's a key. Thank you for your hospitality. And Thank her, you for stopping. five gold. Thank you. She kind of steps back and she's like, Erwin, you hear Erwin, Erwin. <laughs> you hear hushed voices that are speaking behind you. <clears throat> And you enter small back room. It it is. It's it's got a kind of private table and a, and not much else. There's a, it almost looks like there's it slightly used as a stock room at times. But there is a small table and you can shut the door if you choose. Oh yeah. <laughs> shut the door. So come to the right place. I don't think we need to dance about, just be up front. Especially with those wolves. I think so too. There's no point wasting any time. No, I agree. Would be good to get us some food, though. Oh, of course. <laughs> All right. Some wine. Only a minute or two later, she comes in with three plates, and there's a man, a bit more portly, um, looks similar though, has you know kind of a you know a, a well-maintained beard that kind of connects. You know, it doesn't go as far up, but it goes, and again has that silver kind of line. His hair, and he's carrying a few bottles, and he's like. Oh, yes, thank you, masters. Good to see you again. And closes the door and <laughs> turns around. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, our friend Hedge 
told us to be on the lookout for you. We want to help. The woman speaks, she's like, I'm Danica, this is my husband Erwin. In what capacity do you want to help? The greatest possible. We're quite capable. We hear there's a wizard. He's organizing things. We'd like to speak to him at least. We heard that you were people who knew things. We are indeed. You mean to join this wizard? It's a dangerous proposal that the wizard's that's making. That's precisely why we want to join. We're quite capable. Well, you certainly look it. Give us a moment. Of course. Thank you for your hospitality again. Of course. <laughs> it's my family's wine, by the way. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> they leave the room. <clears throat> leave you to your meal. You can have any discussions that you want to, or we can fast forward. I think we're pretty much on the same page yeah, here. I think it's really just... I think we're probably actually shoving, shoving, shoving food, food in our face. Yeah. Yeah. And if uh, they're not, I'm encouraging them to do so. I think Killian would also like cut his meat in half and wrap it in a cloth to give to Adam. We don't necessarily even know if he needs to eat, but... Killian yeah. all sets him aside. I mean, I think he would even make that clear what he's doing to the to the gang and suggest we all split him aside for him. So when we get him to go. <laughs> <laughs> A few minutes later, the door opens. Danica's holding it. And a kind of mangy-looking human kind of walks in with a big scraggly beard. I'm just like, ah. <laughs> She looks at all of you and closes the door. He looks around for a moment. All of you, go ahead and make wisdom saves, please. Wisdom must ask. Huh? Nice. It is my best. Left the decks. Nineteen. Okay. Nine. That's pretty good. How about four? Four, pretty good. <laughs> you feel it first. Somebody else's intellect inside your own head, and you're able. Elbin, to give in to your more natural thoughts, and you make your head just <clears throat> alien. Like, your mind is just so alien. The two of you... Yeah, there's something in there, and I start talking about my mind. <laughs> don't notice until both of you do that somebody is digging deeper into your heads than you expected. I... Reflexively go to put my hand on my sword. I would appreciate it if you get out of my mind. I don't like thinking of myself. I, mean, I just had to make sure you were trustworthy. Immediately, this visage of a scraggly old man is thrown away. It's a bald headed man with a mustache and kind of a goatee, fierce goatee, eyes that look dark holding a staff in the finest robes that have runes all over them. I am the wizard you're seeking. Question. Does yeah. he look familiar to Killian? Yes. All? All right. Absolutely. Uh, Killian, you know exactly who this is. All right. I mean, I think Killian would just be like... <laughs> <laughs> By your reaction, young man, you of course know who I am. Indeed I do. And I'm well, I feel much more confident that you're the one organizing whatever you're organizing. Well, you could say I'm a student of yours and other masters. Yours, certainly. Oh, you've read some of my work. Impressive. It's advanced stuff. Oh, it is, but your theory on uh, well, tapping into ley lines, it's what I wrote my thesis on. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps time for that later. You two don't seem to know me. My name is... Mordenkainen, Archmage of all the planes, in fact. Cool. Cool. Nice to meet you. He's responsible for many of the spells that you see cast just about every day. Mm. Uh, well, one of the leading minds of Arcana. I wish. It should be helpful then. Good. Helpful. It should be far more than that. I'm hoping that the three of you can be helpful. Of course, that's why we're here. Well, 
I can see you already seem to know what's happening as a rebellion's brewing. I got that from you two. You I did not. In fact, your mind is rather interesting. Oh, thank At you. a later date, I would like to inspect it further. As long as it's still in his head. Well, even if it wasn't, I could put it back. <laughs> rather simple, honestly. Anyway, well, joking aside, this is going to be serious. We are planning an assault on Castle Ravenloft tonight. I think Strong knows you're coming. I saw the wolves. who will need more than that to stop me. Plus, we're not exactly going to be riding along through the countryside for every wolf to attack. No. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. So you can be an army yourself? Oh, yes. I can do a great number of things, in fact. It's more than useful, then. Indeed it is. Strahd, no doubt, has no idea how many people are allied against him. His downfall. <laughs> Plus, he's gotten lazy. He didn't expect me to be here. I've been trying to get here for some time. I know what he's been doing. I finally managed to get here. I am, of course, like everybody else, stuck for the moment, but as soon as Strahd falls, everybody can leave. Of course. You three were pulled here, I assume, as well? Um, More willing. Well, there's no point in lying to you. You can just probe for yourself. No. There's a ritual we got here. I'm not proud of it, but I learned it from my former masters. Where are you from, originally? Say. In Toru? Yes. Hmm. Well, I do disagree with most of their methods and such. As do I. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't understand the need to delve into secrets at all costs. You're speaking of the Asimar, though. Dirty business. Tricky spell. Hmm. Interesting. Why would you come here willingly? Did you also want to fight Strahd? Somehow I doubt it. That was not our plan. Our plans changed once we saw what was happening here. That's right. Hmm. We've got our own issues to deal with on Toril. Some of the knowledge we need to defeat our enemies. Well, we should speak to Tan. He's more than capable of Miracle, maybe, Elminster. Uh, I don't think we knew it was Elminster, do we? No. Yeah, okay. I did, but you I would. I would let you think that you had an idea now. Okay. In fact. And maybe even now, just like, I think we may have, and we were sent on a task to gather information about a pan pantheon of gods that was formerly locked here, I think, in the temple. Are you speaking of the Amber Gods? Yes. No. What do you mean formerly? They broke out. No. Now. But they will? They I don't will? know. I don't, I, to be honest, I don't really understand a lot of it. You're here to stop that? Are. You're here to stop them breaking out at all? Uh, no. No. To defeat them after breaking out, but I hadn't thought about that. Maybe if we could stop them breaking out at all, it would correct our timeline and we could return home and that wouldn't even be an issue. I mean, after we defeat Stroud, that should be the number one priority. I know you said it, but do you realize there's an entire pantheon? Sure. Of gods. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course that is where Strahd got his power from, in fact. If they have escaped on Tutorial, they will spread everywhere else. Um, I don't know how they could have escaped. They would need an entire another champion. Uh, I'm afraid we're no good there. I don't know. But why would Strahd... <sighs> Too many questions. Do you know anything about Castle Ravenloft, like its layout? I do, in fact. Well, I yeah, procured this ancient and he pulls it out and you do you see it's essentially blueprints mm -hmm. they don't fully look complete but some of them you can see what is clearly newer handwriting mm -hmm. making deductions mm -hmm. or assumptions from different views like i've also mm -hmm. been studying and i think this is rather exact also the keepers here lent some things as those ravens have been able to see in through a few windows 
Well, did you say for a library? Yeah, we need to get some books. Hopefully. We can't wait half, but it would be nice if we could. That's our task here. Books on the Ember Gods? Exactly. <laughs> Give me a moment. What's he doing? He's thinking. He's got a very deep mind. I don't know if he was casting a spell before. Okay. You will help with the initial assault. I am not a fool, and logically, getting you two to get that, or you three to get that book, help out if you can, but then leave would be most important. Stopping those gods. Strahd should fall with the amount of forces that we have, plus I will be facing him. I have faced vampires before. No doubt he's very strong, but I've got a few plans. Of course. So I should defeat Strahd along with the other forces. You three should fight down to this point here, which would be the library. You need a specific book. What do I have for that? What do I have for that? What do I have for that? Ah. Pulls out a small orb. Essentially, it looks like a marble. It's like, I'll give it to you. You seem learned. Right. Focus on what you're looking for. Think about it hard. That should alert you to where you need to go. All right. Get it close, it should roll right up to it. All right, I'll watch exactly where he put it. Mm -hmm. Just in case. He hoops it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Component pouch. Yeah. <laughs> Toriel, Toriel. Hmm. Haven't been there in some time. It's a nice place. Certainly a place you wouldn't want evil gods running rampant. I know that much. We have the means to traverse the plains a bit crudely now, but... Do you? Time, uh, I don't understand it fully. I'd love to hear sometime. Obviously not today. What are you doing? A simple plane shift spell, or what are you doing? Oh no, we have a... Uh, well, we have a lighthouse that exists in multiple places at once. It can traverse. Huh. I myself have a tower. A few. But one that I typically use that has done the same thing. Fascinating. Fascinating. Did you create this magic, the three of you? We didn't. We inherited it. Huh. I should like to know more about what this tower is. But to answer your questions, yes, traveling the plane's time doesn't always work. But are the they same still way. interconnected? If we defeat Strahd here tonight, will that fix what's going on in Doral in our time? Well, if you're learned and focused enough, you can make sure that you get back exactly where you need to go. But, however, if you're playing with a tool you don't fully understand, you could end up anywhere, at any time. It doesn't always work the same. Typically, you can't go that far back, though. It's strange. You should also be careful. You could get caught out of time and space altogether. There are those bits where the sheets lift back. You would be essentially not existing any longer. Cool. That's awesome. I assure you, young man, it is not awesome. I was being sarcastic. That would be foolish. Anyway, I shall come and fetch you at night. The th three of you... Uh, we do have a fourth. A fourth. He's a quite capable brute. Very good. We he long... is our friend. I understand that. Good. That should be fine. A brute force shall help with some of the uh, things inside. No telling what all the traps are in there. Though I think I have a good idea. <sighs> I shall fetch you at night. We will be teleporting to just outside of Barovia, the village. To which we will march on the castle. We're prepared. Well, enjoy your meal. Rest up if you need to. Tonight, we march, and tomorrow, the first dawn in Barovia in 700 years. Might I ask you an extremely large favor? And feel free to say no, but it would mean the world to me. Mm. Could I copy a spell from your spellbook? What spell? I, d I don't know. I don't know what you have. <laughs> Some fourth level spell. <laughs> oh, yes, what do I have? Spell. What do I have, young man? I have everything. I am the Archmage Mordenkainen. I wrote half of the spells that anybody has ever studied. That's why I I've asked. beaten the Omen, Bigby. Oh, Bigby! We actually we met Bigby. Oh. 
Really? <laughs> <laughs> tell me this, and tell me honestly. Did he dare say that we are equals? He did. When I rightly said that you were the master, he was his, the apprentice, he corrected me. If you should ever get an apprentice, just be ready for this. Just be ready for your givingness, <laughs> the time you take in charity to teach somebody that they would dare say, he's capable, no doubt he's capable, but is he me? No. Hmm. Understood. I wonder why Tan hasn't done anything about these gods. Hmm. Question. Do yeah. we know that Tan is dead? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, prepare yourselves. Should get interesting. You didn't. Ah, oh, yes, I did. <laughs> Before you I got off on Big B. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I will give you a spell scroll. You will not touch my spell book. Do you understand me? Of course. Perfect. <laughs> And that's for Bigsby's hand. <laughs> yeah. He already got I Bigsby's have, hand. Bigsby's hand. I'm just not high enough to cast it, but I have, I have that scroll. scroll. Oh, oh, yeah. What do you think of this one? You can just write it on the back. <laughs> <laughs> if you could just put to my best friend, Killian. <laughs> Man, I should have opened up. I don't do interviews, sign autographs, and I'm no longer a public figure. <laughs> uh... Yes, any fourth level spell that you want to pick out, Mordenkainen has and will give you. Nice. Hey, let's go ahead and do our first giveaway. We are. Real so, fast. everybody, we are going to launch our first giveaway. That feels like a good time to do so. And then we will go to break. I hope I've set it up correctly. Fingers crossed that it's the right thing. Fingers crossed that it launches at all. I don't see anything, I'm afraid. Oh, hold on. I just chatted, like, in the past on the video. It wasn't coming up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were just talking about how... I like, really did just weird. chat in the past, and it's going to show up in the past. <laughs> Twitch does a weird thing. Here we go. Try that. Boom. Raffle started. Pew, 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 All right. Pew. Guys, go ahead and type raffle. Join. We want to wait to go to break, or... Oh, yeah, we can go to break. All right. When we return, the Siege of Castle Ravenloft led by Mordenkainen with his vanguard this crew of unincorporated party <laughs> All right. hey everyone and thank you for tuning in to us here at Castle Mac we're so happy that you came the point of this video is just to do a little bit of housekeeping on the break that way when you come back we can just jump straight back into the action with whatever show that you were watching if you're watching us live right now on Twitch you can go ahead and mash that follow button up here. If you're watching us a little bit later on YouTube, you can mash that subscribe button right down here. We stream live on Twitch on Tuesdays and Sundays, both at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. And we try to upload our videos to YouTube about 48 hours later. So you can follow us there, youtube.com slash Castle Mac. Um, if you wanna to talk to us outside of our streams, then you can go ahead and follow us on Twitter. Sometimes we post schedules there if we're gonna be streaming in between. We have some friends of ours that stream on our channel, the Macalites. We also do a Marcha style campaign with some of our friends in our Discord, and that happens periodically. So if you wanna know one, you can just follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter handles are all Castle Mac, and then our first name, you can follow me, I'm Castle Mac Lydia. You can follow Raven. You can follow our DMs, Steven and Johnny. You can follow any of us, and you can find our names right underneath of our characters on our nameplates. So we would love it if you would follow us, and you can find us on our other streams there. And also, if you want to talk to us off of Twitter, you can follow us on our Discord. We have a Discord server. You just go to our Twitch channel, scroll down a little bit, and you can follow that link. We are there pretty much all the time. There are people from all over the world, so no matter what time you're chatting, I guarantee there will be someone there to chat back at you. It's so much fun. Everyone there is so nice. And I just want to talk now a little bit about what goes on during our Twitch streams. So for every 500 bits donated or every sub, we get a divine reroll. That is basically the God saying, you can reroll that terrible d20 roll that you just made as a player. If you roll badly, you can reroll that and hope for better. 
but also if the DM rolls really hot and it's gonna hurt us, we can make him re-roll that in hopes that he won't hurt us quite so badly, so it's great. And with those bits, it allows us to upgrade some of our equipment. We've been able to get new microphones, so we sound so much better than we used to. We have these lapel mics. We're hoping to get some new cameras in the future. And with those bits, we're able to uh, pay artists from Twitter that we find to do character portraits. We found some on Facebook that are really great. We've been able to commission a new theme song for our Waterdeep Dragon Heist campaign. The art looks amazing, and we're so happy to be able to give that back to artists that we found. So with that, we are so happy that you are here. We are so thankful to have you as a viewer and a subscriber and a chatter in our Discord. We hope that you will stay around because in the next few minutes, we'll be coming back to whatever show you're watching. We're so happy that you're here. So thank you so much.
Welcome back, everybody. Oh, congrats to... Ooh, we got a winner. Let me see. Bath the Barbarian? Yeah. Ooh. Bath the Barbarian. Ooh, nice. Just shoot us a message, the Castle Mac account. Just shoot me a message on Twitch or Twitter or wherever. Let me know and uh, shoot me an email address, and I'll get you a code when we're done streaming tonight or, or tomorrow. Congratulations. Potentially, but we'll get you a code very soon. All right, we'll reset it again on the next break. So in the final leg of this, we'll have another giveaway tonight, everybody. Yeah. We got to decide what? We didn't look at the spreadsheet of fortune. We didn't. We'll, we'll do it as we get closer. <sighs> you guys rest up. Mm. Eat a few wolf steak meals. Drink a moderate amount of Wizard of the Wines while you can. I mean, he's a lush, but he's also... In the same sense, being a soldier, he also yeah. knows when to drink oh, and when yeah. not to drink. Yeah. Am I numb enough? Yes. <laughs> Just right. Comfortably numb, one might say. Hmm? Nightfall comes. You step outside. Gather Adam. Actually, what do you tell Adam that you're doing, in fact, as he... You speak to him, and he looks up. <laughs> Still laying there. The entire wagon just... As he hops down and stands almost twice as high as you. We're seeking Ravenloft tonight. Soon we'll be leaving. We are attacking... Strahd. Strahd. He is... My father spoke of him. Terrible, terrible man. We have some things we'd like to gather from this castle as well. That is our priority, but I would much like to see him dead. Either way, you need to stick with us. I will stick with you. What about Strong Petra? She's not going to be able to come. <sighs> to keep us I'll run in her. and ask the keepers to keep an eye on her. Good. Do so. They completely agree. I won't role play that one yeah, for you. Yeah. <clears throat> While Killian's doing that, Adam looks around, sees something over a stall. You see him reach down and you hear, <laughs> and he has a massive chain. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> and he, t -t -t. and then he kind of <laughs> wraps around his arm. Like, I am ready. Out of seemingly nowhere, Mordenkainen looks through Velaki. Few of the guards look at him strange. He eyes them and they look the other way and keep going. So, can I do something before we leave? If it's relieve yourself or prepare yourself, yes. Prepare. I can have my oil of sharpness. Mm. Nice. And uh, I'm going to cast Hex. And then use the sword to replenish the slot. You cast a hex on yourself and just replenishing it until you can. No, move no, no! It? I'm going to use the spell. Well, it will just stay until I move it. Right. Uh, and you, the, you might have to have a target to cast it. Right. No, I'm, I'm fine casting on myself. Oh, okay, I gotcha. But I'm saying uh, the sword has the power. Right. The the yep. the stone of um, the hell's it called? Just cast it on strong Petra, and then <laughs> on someone else. Like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Are we, the are we going directly into Baal, then? No. Pretty close. Oh, that's true. I guess we're arriving in the town. We are arriving How far in is town. it to the town, to, the, to Strahd's place? Uh, from there, be a couple minutes, really. Okay, then not good. It's both will last an hour. Yep. It's like, are you ready? Like, a few other people have joined. They also look like adventurers. Mm. Like, they kind of come out of the alleyways. All right. Gentlemen, you see, I mean, rangers, elves, some are looking in strange clothing, strange armor. They all look like warriors, though. It's maybe ten of you all now, all together. Mm -hmm. so gather around, circle, 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 circle. You see him. <sighs> nah, nah, nah. You blink out of existence. And when you blink back, you're outside of the village. 
you see the tower, the towers of Ravenloft, sitting ominously ahead of you. They stand in defiance to whatever your plans may be. They've been there for a long time. It looks bigger, it looks stronger than it even did before. Mordenkainen starts walking forward. The other adventurers kind of keep pace. We'll fall in. A line of you are walking. And as you look, you look past the city and you see the plains are filled with wolves that are starting to kind of pad alongside of you. But out of the town of Barovia, you see doors opening and you see people start walking with you. You see Doru from the church. He's got a sword on his hip and he walks forward. There's maybe two dozen of you now as you walk up the streets. Some of them have torches. Other people are shuttering their windows, closing up, turning off lights, just blowing out candles so that the town looks dark. So the only light ascending up the small mound to Ravenloft is from your own torches. At the gates, you see Grigori, deformed, on the other side. I will turn back, wizard, and all of you. I can't say it will spare your lives, but many of you will die here right at the gates. Ordenkainen looks at the gates, looks at him, puts his hands up and and you see, you can hear what sounds like a spell has been just shattered and the gates unlock and Gregor's like, oh, oh. <laughs> you see him kind of hobbling his way back, like, oh, oh. all of you filter in. Gregory pushes open the doors, and you already see it. Ravenloft is lit. Candelabras, chandeliers, torches on all the walls, and up the long staircase, the set out with red carpets on each, you see another force. There are Vishtani hanging all. There are wolves kind of lining each stair. Strahd sits at the top, surrounded by his brides, and an elf as well who has a scimitar. You see even kind of going through the crowd, a couple of vampires spawn just <laughs> looking like they're only being kept back by the fact that they know they're supposed to. They're <sighs> Strahd stands at the top of like, Wow. He looks at the three of you. Disappointing. So, wizard. Not much of a rebellion, I see. Two dozen. I think you underestimated how willing people would be to help you. Morden kind of like, perhaps I did. Typically, I would applaud this audacity. However, that you would think that you could do this in my house! <laughs> Morden kind of like, I think I've heard enough. Behind you, you hear unlocking of a door and doors. And out of nowhere, doors open. As you look back, you can see what was the insides of a mansion. As a ton of Barovians and others start pouring out of the doors of this invisible house, down the hallways and up the stairs. And immediately, Mordenkainen readies a spell, and Strahd is whoosh, on him immediately, and they tumble into the wall behind you. Strahd is primal. He's not nearly as together. His face is sunken. His fangs are larger. His eyes are red. He's just, ah! Mordenkainen lays a spell that throws him off. 
the vampire spawner down, the wolves are attacking. The brides of Strahd are immediately, almost in mid-flight, crawling across the, the walls down. But people are filling out. You know, the path you need is to the right. We go left. <laughs> <laughs> Turn your light on. Yeah, I don't think it's plugged in, my dude. Oh, no, it's over there. Don't worry about it. I think we'd go that way. Yeah, we definitely go that we way. Uh, break. Do I have the opportunity to cast mirror image on myself on the way? I think you do. Tight. I'll do that. <laughs> you are actually following kind of a crowd that's already running past you, and you can already hear the sounds of battle. You see doors flying open and more Vishtani coming out, people pouring in, fighting into the rooms that are coming. You go past the kind of feast hall where the organ's fighting, and it looks like a Renaissance painting. There's a still frame as you go by of just swords up, claws out, just clashing with each other all over the place. As you pass different parts, though, you see what looks like ghosts coming out of the walls, grabbing people and pulling them back in. What looked like four dragon statues have come to life as wormlings and are climbing down the walls. You're all managing to dodge from all of this chaos. You turn one corner, you've barely struck any blows. You've caught a few cantrips out. Most of you are just kind of blocking your way through. And you come across the corner, you know you've reached the final hallway. And this is what you see before you. God, that looks so good. Oh, there we go, there we go. Flip my light on. Oh my god. I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> Boba Fett. Daylight. Boba Fett. <laughs> the carbonite sickness. <laughs> this is the final hallway. At the end of it, you see large wooden double doors that are maybe 60 feet tall. They look almost like the opening of a cathedral. You see zombies skeletons again, some Vishtani kind of fighting, you see wolves. And this is exactly, you start exactly at that hallway. What we are going to do now is roll initiative. Ooh-wee. Looks like we got some buddies around, is that right? Ooh! Roll a good Anish. I'm gonna be honest with you. Who are friends? The player lo- character looking people? Yeah, player looking character people are going to be do, your. Do. Uh, right there by the door. Do. Do. Friends, aka expendable AoE damage receivers. <laughs> my thinking exactly. As long as they're not Romer, I'm good with it. Alright, I need to read a spell because it's my first Ooh. time using it. <laughs> I got six. Thank you, Crinio Dad, for another Wow, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Here, I'll put these where they're visible. Right? Uh, okay, so. I'm going to line these up right cool. here. Give to Sean to help. All right. <laughs> Elvin, what did you get? Uh, six. Six, okay. Mm-hmm. 14. 14. Killian, you got, what, a 30? Uh, I got a, uh, t- a 29. Did he really get a yeah, 29? Yeah. <laughs> 18 plus 11, my dude. Okay. Uh, hold on. Yeah, he's doing his math for him. Yep, you're right. <laughs> he, he verified. Thanks, man. Confirmed. Calculating. <laughs> Confirmed. Recalculating. Recalculating. Recal- recalculating. Does this look like a friend or foe? A uh, friend. Okay, so I am going to alternate here, y'all. <laughs> I like how you're disappointed by <laughs> having more friends. That's more people I have to hurt. <laughs> no, actually, you guys rolled high enough, but before Elvin. Um. Okay, so similar to Mechanus, uh, essentially what's going to happen is they are going to go... It's each group. They're not going to continue fighting you, but they're, they're going to make parting blows if they can, or you may be engaged with various ones. So there's the ones that you're currently next to. Yep. That dragonborn over there is an ally shooting a spell across from you. 
and it'll kind of continue going. So you have one, two, three, four, five groups. Okay, got it. But I'm just gonna, as you get down, I'm gonna reshuffle okay. these ones. Makes sense. But Killian, without a doubt. All right, so I got my mirror image on. I am going to, I mean, just do some math here. Good guy, good guy, bad guys. All right, Killian's gonna gonna take an investment turn. He's going to raise his hand, and an orb of crackling lightning is going to appear, and he's gonna sling it. It's gonna fly across the room and land right here in a big twenty-foot radius crackling sphere that I want basically right there. Um, I'll get up and get the template in a second, but these are a little wonky anyways. So I basically want them to be on the edge of the sphere. Mm -hmm. And I immediately need them to each make a strength saving throw. No problem. Just try to do them kind of as they are. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm a 15. Okay, well, I need one more for that swarm of... that. Okay, well... Well, get them out of the way now. The... Essentially, those two that are foremost up there, the bats and the uh, the other one, made it. The okay. other two failed. Right, the two in the back take seven points of damage each. Okay. The sphere is difficult ground. I'm going to just mark it with this, all right? Basically, 20 foot. These are 10, so I sort of want it like this. That all good? Mm-hmm. Something like that. So it's kind of right there. All right. It's difficult ground in there. Uh, and it's concentration. The sphere stays. It's a broiling storm, lightning casting everywhere. Anyone within 30 feet has disadvantage on perception checks when trying to hear anything. And furthermore, I can call lightning bolts out of that storm as bonus actions, which I will do right now. Well, actually, let me roll for... Sorry, that was for Adam. Oh, yeah. I will now zap a lightning bolt uh, within 60 feet of the center. These are each... Oh, these are each 20. 20. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so you're right. This will be fine. I'm going to zap the skeleton right next to me. You have to roll a hit? Yeah. Uh, I got a uh, 12. No, I got a 14. It's plus 9. That so does it. 14. Either way. All right, and that will be 4d6 lightning damage. What was that? Lightning uh, Storm Sphere. That's pretty cool. It's yeah. at fourth level. Uh, he will take uh, 14 points of damage. Uh, he is gone as he <laughs> explodes. All right, which I believe clears out anyone engaged with me. So Killian will advance forward, and I think he's going to embrace his full war mage. Just like, come on! And then uh, I will have... Anarchy swoop down on this guy and assist Romer with an attack. Give an okay. That's me. You got it. Romer. All right. Um, yeah, I'll just, since he's helping, I'll just, I'll slink over here and give that little skelly an attack with advantage. Twelve. Right, that does not, in fact, do it. <laughs> a one and a three. Nice. Don't forget you got hex. I know. Um, so, yeah, I'll bonus action move my hex, and then I'll swing at him again. Got it. Uh, that's a 15. That is a hit. Roll this. So that's uh, uh, 20 damage. Oh yeah, he he is destroyed as you bones this guy right bristle all mm -hmm. fall. Um and I'm just gonna stay there for now. Okay. Keep okay. him from getting to you guys. Actually this should have happened on initiative count twinky. Will you put this right? next to you, Killian. Yeah, I mean, ah. As you look, there was a sword that was hanging on the wall, looked like just part of an armor set, and it Sweet. comes flying at you. I roll first, see if you hit my mirror. Yes. Which you do, it's six or up. Six or up, That was yeah. three. I, yep. So yeah. you do. Okay. So now you roll to see if you hit it. I did not. 
I did not, in Ooh. fact, weak ass sword. Yeah, sucks to be that sword. <laughs> okay. It's just multi Killians moving around. All right. Uh, this is going to be on you. That skelly is going to move up to you, Romer, the one that's just in the corner. If it's not already. It's next to me. I'll right. just move it over so the it picks it up a little better. As it just has a sword that comes to swing at you. What's your armor class? 17. 17. Oh my god. Oh! oh you're like, I'm getting rid of that die. I'm getting rid of that die. <laughs> it, you definitely are able to just and kind of knock it back for a moment as it's trying to recover. Uh, I'm also going to roll that Dragonborn over there. Uh, that Dragonborn does hit it, though. A firebolt kind of goes past, right past your shoulder as it... and hits the zombie and just... But it's not down, by any means. Okay. This is for... This is actually for them... So, it's difficult ground. Difficult ground. What else am I missing for if it? If they end their turn in it, they got to make a strength save again or take more lightning damage. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to give this adventure a hit first. All right. Well, the that adventurer manages to kind of cut through some of that swarm of bats, but the bats and that head skeleton will move kind of past her. Staying, staying in her threat range. In her threat range, and those other two will move up to her, but they will not leave it. Even all right. So it's when they end their turn there. So after they attack, got it. So here are the two on her. One storm sphere is kind of my jank. To be honest with you, no, it's it's pretty awesome. I've never seen anyone use it. Maybe, uh, maybe you. No, I I, I know Osir used it. Yeah, okay. So, I just don't. But I was amping it up when I was using yeah. it, too. Okay. With that, in fact, though, two, as they're starting to almost get disintegrated, which they will just get disintegrated, the other ones move around combined. They're just, I mean... Killer? Killing her. Killing her. As she falls they in die front in the, of you. In the Those two do. But there's so many doors in here. <laughs> that is true. You son of a bitch. I destroy the doors so that they can't be used. <laughs> I just, just lock them. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> turn on the security system. Okay. Pick up that yep. for me. I'm sorry. On this adventure? Yeah. Is this a dead skeleton over here? That is dead. I just put him there for flavor. I like it. Okay. I need to find a miniature of her flying. Will you pull that spear boy off as you kind of look forward, Killian, just kind of through the battle, and you see blocking a lot of the hits coming from these zombies over here, but a wolf manages to kind of pull down its leg, and the bats just swarm around. Is it a regular wolf or a dire wolf? It is actually a dire wolf. Cool. Okay, with this that. going to be insane. Mm-hmm. I love it. Uh, will you move Adam up next to you, please, Killian? Yeah, yep. just use Kothai for him. Uh, actually, just, just get me Elvin, yeah, I think I, I think you're right here, and I dropped you. I'm sorry. You go before he does. Excuse me. It's fine. Okay. You're actually on a cooldown, but you can pay, <laughs> you can pay 50 uh, right. Mac diamonds to, <laughs> to reduce your battle time. Yeah. I will thunder wave in such a way that these folks get it. Okay, They're I'm going to do that. Three. I'm just going to grab you my... You got to move up because the cube is adjacent to you. It starts from your corner. Yeah. It starts. You have to be touching one part of the cube. Right, so if I'm here, wouldn't yeah, yeah, be able yeah. to do if that? If you move here, you'd have to be there. You'd have to be there if you want to hit them. Oh, I, want oh, to I see. You. I see. You're sword trying to get the sword of those two. Trying yes. to help my friend Killian. No, you're perfect. You're it's good. 15, you got it. 15, right? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, then you're good. Yep. You're sword of those you two. You guys need to read the rules. Mm-hmm. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so I need con saves from the sword and those two skellies. Okay, here's the skelly boys. Now, here is the sword. 
Did I roll the exact same thing? Almost. No, he was a nine and a okay. three, and then he rolled a nine and a four. So they all take eight damage and are pushed back. Ten feet or fifteen? Uh, it is. I think it's ten. Just ten. Ten, yeah. Uh, they're they're not knocked prone, right? Uh, I don't think they are. I don't no. think they are. Okay. As that happens, that zombie there and that adventurer who looks like Hydarion both take a little damage as they kind of clash into each other. each other. Cool. Okay, well done. Uh, now, Adam comes up next to you and actually steps in front of you, Killian. And the chain just to the ground and like a whip he he azogs him sweet azogs <laughs> nice yes Ooh. and second attack okay just roll yes 701 uh the one that just ran into that adventurer this guy? yep is crushed <sighs> and then Adam kind of just does the and it the next one over takes a little damage as he starts pulling the chain back. Cool. And now it is. What did I do? Did I drop an enemy? Well, I'll just take yes, it. Yeah, I was going to take something at the end. Okay. Oh my God, it's so far away. Okay. Uh, that's. Those zombies will move up to be engaged with. Uh, Adam and with you, Killian, if they can get. Uh, yeah, they can. I'm just gonna move this barrel. Yeah, yeah. He smashed. You can the pull. Yeah, you can pull the barrel off in there that. if you want. Mm-hmm. One is definitely attacking you, Killian. I rolled a fifteen. So um, hit an image. Oh yeah, me, so it hit an image. You got it. Yeah, we'll see image. So it is hitting an image, and it does. Well, does it? Might well, yeah. My dex is 12, so you're looking for a 12 there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I am down to two images. Okay. Uh, the next one. One, two, it attacks Adam. Three, four, it attacks you. It attacks you. Cool. I'm also going to give this to Realmer while we're here and I'm thinking about it. Thank you. That is an image. Just image. The greatest warrior in yeah, the realm. Yeah, the greatest warrior. A 12? Got it. Okay, so down to one image. And let me roll. Oh. Okay. Uh, the wolf right there. Kind of oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't take it. I'm sorry. Never mind. What you see in front of you, the wolf right there kind of grabs on, tears into that thing, but it's trident sticks the wolf and tosses it against the wall. But with that, the bats manage to consume the triton in front of you. So the triton and the wolf are gone. So good. Okay. We'll go with the triad Yeah, that's really good. Is that Okay. Yeah, that coach painted that one. Dude, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you have... Well, you have three zombies come out of this door that I'm pointing at right here. Right into you, the storm sphere, huh? You don't have to. We just ask you. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. I'll keep them. They rolled in their zombies. All right. Yeah. You want to roll strength saves for them? It is, it's difficult ground, and it's a strength save. Is it enter turns. or end? It's or end their turn. Okay, it's just end. A lot of times it's both. I don't know if they were, you know. Yeah, it's technically not their... Yeah, never mind. I'll just do it. Yeah. We'll just do it now. Two pass and one So the other, the other one takes nine damage. Takes nine damage, and they take... They take none. none. It's not a... Okay. Absy. Got it. All right. I will not. That's them showing up. They'll get something later. Killian, though, it is your go now. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. I'm going to be attacking with disadvantage on these guys. But I got a pretty good attack roll, so screw it. I am going to fire off. I also didn't realize I only had one level four spell slot. I mm. thought you got two at level seven. 
Nah, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. So I'm, I'm basically boned now. No, you could recover it. I could on a rest. You're right. No, your arcane recovery. It's a, it's, it's a rest. Isn't it a rest? Short rest, yep. Why was I thinking yeah. it was a bonus yep. action? All right, so I am going to cast oh, sorcerer. Uh, sorcerer. Scorching Ray. Right. I'm going to target yeah. this skeleton first. <laughs> Uh, I got a 15. Oh, yeah. You got it. Okay. For seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. Okay. Right, I think this one had taken the damage from Adam earlier. I don't yeah, know is that the one? Yeah. Attacking the one that was hit previously. Okay. It's still standing, but it's not looking okay. good. All right. I'll cast that again. Well, I have three shots with that, so. Second shot on him. Ooh, that was a cocked one. Not going to get my crit, but definitely do hit. Eight more. You. It goes up in flames. Uh, after you do that, though, give me a moment. Hmm? What's, that? What's, cool? What's up with that? Adam seems to keep it together. Is he oh, yeah, I guess I right next him. to you? He's just... <laughs> <laughs> you see him freeze for a moment, but All he right. keeps it together. I got one more. I'm like, I'm sorry, Adam! One more bolt trying to Is clear. This, do I pick this up that he's kind of... I mean, you saw it before. He's definitely... Just afraid of fire. He'll try to. I'll try to hit that guy with this bolt. Uh, yeah, got him. Twenty for ten points of damage. Okay. Actually, that one made it out. That one is also just just. <laughs> then, with a bonus action, I will have a streak of lightning come out and, uh, um, you know what, I'm going to try to be clear in the path forward. I'm actually going to roll it against this guy. Mm-hmm. I get to roll with advantage if they're inside the sphere, but I'm disadvantaged because there's an enemy adjacent to me, so just a normal Got roll it. on that boy. And, yeah. Yep. Uh, 17 points of damage. That one is lightning, just <laughs> it bones go rolling out. All right, and then, yeah. Are these all skeletons? Well, zombies. Okay. They're, They're undead. Mooks. I'll tell you what, one of the rules I really do want to implement for 4th edition are the um, minion rules. Where essentially, like... They have one hit point? Like, everyone has one hit point, but the sergeants are, like, regular. So you're only... You're not tracking much. I, I have yet to do that, but I've been meaning to. I have a static amount of hit points yeah, that yeah, I know yeah, they yeah. all have for now, but I like that. Yeah, that's cool. The all right. Star Wars does that, too. Do they? Yeah. MFG. Yeah. All right, that's me. I think that was, I'm, I'm good with that turn. All right, on initiative count 20, will you move that flying sword in between you and Elvin, please? Uh, I mean, sure. Right there. <laughs> mm-hmm. It is gone to... Let me see. It's attacking you, Killian. Cool. That's and to see what... That is me, because I only okay. have one image left. So... I uh, don't think I'm going to be able to get past that. I'll take it. Okay. Where you at? Where you at? You take six points of uh, slashing damage as the sword almost parries and kind of digs okay. into you. I am going to make my concentration save with advantage, courtesy of our lovely viewers. And I pass. Hey. Good thing. That was Lydia. That was Lydia. That was Lydia. Thank you, my dear. You saved me. It was a one and whatever you were. It was rolled. a one oh, and a thirteen. That's all the one. <laughs> yep. Okay, Romer, it is to you. All right. Um, bonus. I'll move it to this guy in front of me. Gotcha. Uh, swing at him. Oh, is Anarchy. Anarchy helping? would be getting an advantage. Yeah, I'm sorry. I assumed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was a twenty-one. Oh yeah. And this is. Uh, all these. Uh, 18 damage. Absolutely. <laughs> just. You put in a Jatha twist, kind of lever it so it just against the wall and it just crumbles uh, apart. Can you move me next to yep. the other skeleton or does it want me next to you? Yeah. I, I can go around this way and yep. get to him. Yep. Uh, so this will just be regular. Nope. Hold on. A bit. That's not for me. Okay. Alright, I believe. 
Okay. Uh, all three of them are going to move out. Or two. The two of them These are two. going to do yep. whatever the path that they can get closest to you ten. with moving out. They have 30 foot move. Oh, there's only supposed to be three per of these, isn't there? So it's it's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. They can attack, not Enid. 10, 15. It was a difficult ground, though. It, I counted the difficult Oh, got it, there. got it, got so it. Just through there. 20. I think they both can get right to this adventurer. Okay. Which I'm sure is totally fine. That adventurer is focused on these bats, and they manage to pull out from the electric storm move forward and unceremoniously one stabs her eyes go wide the other takes her neck and and they just discard and kind of look forward to you and actually those bats please move up to Adam Ooh, man he can take it if anyone can take that it's Adam I'm gonna adjust the camera ever so slightly. Got it. These yeah. These bats start kind of flying around, and he's hitting his own flesh, just kind of smashing them. But you can see that they're trying to tear at like the stitches and the sinews. Just. But he's just. Okay. Enemy three is next. See how many. You hear a <laughs> as a bird is cut down. That's not good. An ericoch. <laughs> This one actually does have a bow, and we'll move a little bit closer and take a shot at you, Romer. Cool. What was your armor class? Uh, 17. Missed. <laughs> Those bats will actually... Those bats will move up next to those other skeletons, please. Like so? Uh huh. That wolf is not moving from where it's at, though. And these ones are kind of forming a line. Okay, 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 okay. Elbin. Um, is this. I can't see very well. What is that? Is that a battle? It's Elbin. I mean, that's it's me. Over. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't attack me. So kill it. Kill oh, yeah. Actually, I'm sorry. That one skeleton should have attacked. I think. I'm the the skelly? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're He's completely so surrounded by our party. All right. So yeah, we'll just do a straight up uh, four. Yeah. Rummer. That would be. Would be you, Rummer. Yeah. No. It, you easily, you see it coming and you just take that hand. <laughs> okay, Elbin, yes, it is your go now. Yeah, don't kill in me. <laughs> uh, Yet. Yeah, I'll wait, wait a little bit. Make it count. Um, I'm just gonna claw the uh, sword. sword. But primal set retreat. Oh, wait, he made... Wait, yeah, no, I'm right. Uh, that was an 11. An 11? Yeah. Actually hits it. Oh, okay. Four. 16 acid damage. 16 acid damage. You kind of hit, and it's now... You can see it almost breaking down the metal. It is still kind of flying around, but you can see it was a good hit as you kind of grabbed claws and then just raked him across. Nicely Point. done. Make two. Adam, you see as he's surrounded, suddenly take the chain and and I mean it just starts climbing up the bats. Yeah, just <laughs> bat you can go ahead and pull those bats off of there with that, that critty boy. 
Glad to see so many of these painted minis out, you know? Okay. This was those boys who just showed up, in fact, right? These guys? No, they went. They moved up this turn and killed. They went. Who did I? Who am I missing? Oh, those are all held in the back. That's, I think everything's yeah. gone. I think everything's gone, too. I might have dropped one of these and got it, so I'll it's pull right. those off for now, with. yeah. Here, I'll, I'll try to help. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> Which group do you want me to destroy? Yeah, give me a... I don't want to kill one group. I want to kill all the groups. <laughs> Let me give me just one second here. Okay, now Killian, it is your go. Okay, so given that I believe these are three by three squares, these guys are all within under forty feet of each other. Do you agree with that? Well, I would it's agree. Essentially, I this. trust you. Yes, I agree. Yeah, okay. Yeah. In that case, I will drop a fireball right here and hit all of them. Gently. Okay. So if they could just make me dex saving throws, please. Yeah, sure, man. I'll go ahead and roll some damage for you. All right. Here is the first kind of line up there. Wow. Uh, what, what am I trying to beat? 15. 15. Oh, they actually all made it. The one in the center did not. Lots of six. Yeah, yes. Averaged out, yeah. And so the front row made it, and this one made it. Okay. okay. So I did 31 damage. Ooh, that's good damage. So 15 if you passed, 31 if you failed. Everything is destroyed with the exception of that dire wolf. Okay. As the blast ahead of you completely clears the rest of the hallway. Uh, I think I again was just like, I'm sorry, Adam! Uh, and he's going to raise his wand and have a bolt of lightning zap out and hit the wolf. <laughs> Finally, he's going to do some damage this turn. Which will be a disadvantage given the... I mean, I've the killed two of these guys, so I'm doing yeah. pretty well. <laughs> this is what Killian's made for, my dude. Got a 15. Oh, that hits. He's made Sweet. for Killian. Uh, that's a little... Mm. Some of that yeah, you no, liked it? No, okay, no. cool. Use it again? Cool, got it. Uh, that's 19 damage. That wolf, dire wolf, <laughs> as you explode most of the hallway, and then you raise your wand and you pull and shoot for it, and a lightning bolt cracks out into this dire wolf that just slides against the wall, still cooking. I guess this will be our second stronghold then. We kind of cleared it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I could give you inspiration again for that, I would. We'll move on oh, to. Oh, yeah. Uh... Here you go. Oh, thanks, dude. Appreciate you. I was hinting at him to give it to you. Yeah. You don't own me. <laughs> kind of do. You just heavily influence me. Okay. This sword is attacking know, you, <laughs> Killian, yeah, on the initiative count it. 20. So it is. That is my, my um, image. image. Got one left. Got it, yeah. The image Ooh. is definitely gone. That's no, all the images. Fights. All the images just me. are good. It's just naked old Killian now. Okay, nice. and with that, will you put... Actually, you cleared the board. We'll show up later. Never mind. Who? Romer. What? It is your go. That's uh, It's Anarchy, as you see it. Anarchy... I, I know, I've got to get better at remembering where she is, and she doesn't have her own initiative thing anymore. Uh, Anarchy, if it's okay, would just give Romer advantage on this skelly. Okay. Yeah. I'll uh, move my my hex over. A little tacky too. Uh, yeah, 19. Oh, yeah. You don't even have to roll it, my dude. And with the other one, I'll take a shot at the sword. Uh, 21. Great now, my dude. Uh, so that is uh, 15 damage on the sword. That's it. You shatter the blade as you. Nice. It almost, it's like it tries to block and almost parry, and you just. And the hilt. And then just move me straight 30 feet. You got 25 left. You would have had to step forward. Oh I, w oh, I thought it was adjacent to me. Okay. Yep. All right. 
as you get something happens as you get there that door opens mm-hmm. I close it <laughs> you see that there are archers on the other side of the door that fire with surprise probably right oh uh, yes. yes you know what that's true you think so if I didn't see them yeah, but surprises, you didn't even know a fight was yeah, coming. I, mean, I don't think that worked. Right and you're now. 17, I don't think that got you. Okay. So, I I'm agree. No, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. You're right. I agree. I think once initiative has been rolled, it's extremely hard to surprise someone. Okay. Whose side are you on? But a rogue can't hide in combat. A rogue can, but I think opening a door... Here's the thing about hide. Like, oh, you're right. The it, moment I, you're in I sight... I thought the door was open. Yeah, the moment you're in sight, you're yeah. not hidden anymore. Yeah, that's true. Uh... Let's see, Elvin, it is your go. Man, this is tricky. Um, Let me also say that behind you, you see that more are now coming. And you see... Allies? Not allies. (laughs) You see, in fact, people kind of fighting their way, and I mean, they're going, and now you also, I think, get the first glimpse that you see, you see a vampire spawn kind of lift up from an adventurer mm. going fighting, and then a moment later, the adventurer. <laughs> oh. <sighs> nice. Find as in this way? Yep. And like mechanically, they're coming? Yes. Okay. <laughs> they're coming. Okay. I just want to make sure it wasn't uh, a, a scene. Drums anything. in the deep. <laughs> well, in that case. So we have 10 minutes, right? Not the British children. <laughs> just put a, put a uh, private sign come back there. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, if I had 10 minutes to pop a hut. Um, so I'm going to... Wait, and as was, you move past that door. No, I, I didn't, though. Oh, that door. Yeah. Oh, I'm afraid. Tree boy. Pass. You take... Um, eight points of piercing damage as one of the arrows just kind of digs in. But you're moving past. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Spike Growth behind us. Oh my Mm. god. Yes! Mm. You Um, are a beautiful man. Anything else? Uh, uh, Smar... Smar... No, it's okay. Smoggy? Um, it's, so it's a 20 foot Smoggy? radius. Yeah, I guess, no, I guess <laughs> shawarma is, right? You want some shawarma? It, it'll take up the whole hallway. I'll give you that. Okay. Oh, like behind you, I think you. It's a huge radius. You, you cast it behind you and. <laughs> that you feel, you feel confident at the very least it would slow people down. And, you know, 2d4 for every 5 feet of travel. But who's got I mean, if they use the floor. Yeah, the floors. That's a good point. Use the floors. Seems blood drained into both of Okay. Uh, Adam will keep up. Keep up with you. Uh, he'll come right up next to you, Romer. Uh-huh. I'll look over. You're doing really well. Let me actually give him a. There's still some. Uh, some doors, barrels, tables, mm-hmm. uh, paintings that were on the wall that are still burning Bodies, from the fireball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That it does take him a moment of. <sighs> but he, he tries to. He focuses on you, Romer, as you're kind of giving him words of encouragement, and he's able to kind of keep moving. Okay, Killian, it's your go. Killian's a Bernie boy. I think as Killian steps forward, he's going to uh, replenish the mirror image. He is now out of second level spell slots, but Mirror Image is back. And 10, 20, 30, uh, right on the edge of the we'll sphere. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Romer. Um, I think he's just going to push up. Uh, real quick, how many rounds has this been since I cast the sphere? I think I fired it. I think I fired it three times, and I didn't fire it here. So I think I've got four. I think it's four. I think yeah, I've got six four. left. Yeah, okay. It does last a minute. So I'm going to move up thirty mm-hmm. and hold my action if an enemy comes up to attack. Okay. So so if I see an enemy, I'm going to eldritch blast them. Got it. That door opens and you see two archers in there. Actually, I'm just going to call it one. Okay. So, go ahead and fire. Okay. So, uh, 14. Yep. Got it. Uh, 
uh, for four. And then I roll an 18 uh, for 13. So 20. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you you manage to. And it kind of goes back and falls. You see it almost looking like it's starting to recover, but it's so apart. But yeah, you got it. Elvin. It's my turn again? Yeah, yeah. I don't feel as fast. Okay. Um, then I'll just, you know. Uh, don't wait, go to the eye. <laughs> um, I have trouble seeing how many. Square. Yeah. So I'll just these are, they're supposed to be three by three. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Th- unless it's a three by three, don't pay attention to what's actually on the. Okay. Um, and can I see somebody through that? I or, killed. Oh, you killed it. Right. Never yep. Um Actually, they're supposed to be four by four. So really? Yeah. They are. Oh yeah, because that one. I see that one's four. You're right. Sorry, Sean. I cheated. How much I moved? I guess that's okay, man. 20. 20, 20, 20, 20. Well, I still would have had him, though. I'm just kidding. I think I still would have had him. still would have had him. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Okay. That door opens hey, right there. That was Dragonborn doesn't... just fighting back here. We can preserve Yeah, yeah. Getting spiked. Oh, cool. I kind of forgot about her. I'm going to move the camera for it as we... Bam, bam, bam. Down the hall. What was your armor class? 70. Oh, didn't get you. Oh, Actually, my dudes, considering where it's at, you managed to dodge out the rest of the way. I won't make you keep playing it out. Mm. The sounds of battle, and as you look behind you, you see many are stopped, or many start to, including allies, start to kind of falling back, fighting into the spike growth. Other things try to go, are just taking a ton of damage. You also see a number of things start to crawl up on the walls and crawl right over it. Like slugs and like ants and stuff? No, like humanoids. Huh. And as you all take a look back, before you are the doors of the library. I I don't think Romer would pause. Yeah. Oh yeah, we would. Oh, we would probably be rushing in. We would rush forward and, and kick the doors in. Yep. 12 seconds, two turns to dash up there or so. And actually, you know what? They weren't even closed, in oh, fact. Weren't. Actually, one was, it was kind of, it was, uh, <laughs> it was not a door. It was a jar. <laughs> uh-huh, cool. Kind of like fall down. And you see oh. that, you see that there is a, like, clearly an adventuring dwarf that has fallen with and also has, has taken the zombies kind of around him. And, mm. But they're all dead at this point. Cool. Over you in the corner. Move to this? Yeah, we can go ahead and right, move let's, right let's, out of the you hallway. You guys help me uh, pull that over there so I can reset. I'll take the player characters. Adam, uh, this is technically still active, but its range is well, its range is yeah sixty feet. It's probably gonna be moot. Okay, I'm just gonna unconcentrate on spike growth, I guess, unless you think I don't know. Just keep it up until okay, yeah, until I need to not. Okay, let me move in this. You know what? Here. We'll do that in just a second. We're gonna take a break okay, in just a cool. second. So let me tell you what happens though. You enter the room, there are well over a thousand books in here. Tight. And they look expensive, they look ancient, and it has a small sitting room within there. Do they look immune to fireballs? No. <laughs> no, they do not. Well, Killian's first question is, what books? <laughs> damn, that's cool. You... Can't you see that there's... How quickly are you Are you looking? I was most just read us a few paragraphs from each of them. <laughs> yeah. Killian is obviously pressed by the situation, so he would use the marble. I mean, almost as soon as he got in there. He would pull it out, think about the book he's looking for, and set it on the ground. You see it start to almost vibrate, and then it starts making a wider and wider circle. Almost like it seems to be trying to figure out exactly where it's at. With that, the doors behind you and lock. Above the bookcases, you see Vishtani walk out with bows. And from this back bookcase, right out of the wall, walks that elf that you saw with the scimitar. Scars across his face. He's like, stealing from my lord. I am the chamberlain of this castle, and nothing leaves it. I am Rahadin, 
I'm over 800 years old, and I've killed at least twice that many. When we come back, we will roll initiative and begin our fight with the Chamberlain of Castle Ravenloft, the dreaded and the terrible Rahadin. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to Mac Lore 1997! <laughs> First and foremost, as most of you have probably guessed if you've been watching, the Shards of Amber. Mm -hmm. uh, what are those? Where are they from? Well, they were from another realm in the Shadow Plane uh, that managed to have a new champion in Kaecilius, which we just should mention in the same yeah. breath. Yeah, same breath. That is 100% the aftermath of Strahd. We like to keep it going, right? So, yep. the end of Strahd. There's a little stinger scene, right, that shows Kaecilius on the Sword Coast with some amber where, and, and you know, this is a spoiler alert for Strahd, so close your ears if you are playing Strahd or don't know this already, but there's a temple there that have these amber sarcophagi where these elder evil gods are essentially, they're like these shards of the, the remnants of these gods are kept. So we kind of figured, hey, wouldn't it be cool though if those play into it, because clearly, if they were encased in this temple, like, something epic happened long ago. A prison break essentially happened mm -hmm. with Kaecilius, and they are now, at, at least to some degree, some we've already seen in the Sword Coast, and right. guaranteed it will not just play into Sunday, but it's it will probably play into all the stories mm -hmm. that we have to some degree. Right, so, so far it's been mentioned, of course, in Strahd, where they're sort of introduced, we did this one shot recently. It's called Shards of Amber in the Snow. We did that with Kelsey from the Arcane Library. It's a mm -hmm. high-level adventure. Go check it out. It's in our one-shots folder on YouTube. Um, and it was referenced in Sean's one-shot as well for the train heist, which yep. was a mind meld for us because you had no idea I was going to nope. do that. So that was cool. Um, that's going to continue to come up because I think in our head canon, right, these gods have arrived, but they're weak. Right? They've been trapped in amber, and clearly magic kept them... You know, kept them bottled up, so... Well, they're looking for a foothold. And they have a military commander at their helm, who also you should check out the end, at least, of the one shot with Shards of Amber to see some of the upset in the current state of the Sword Coast. Yep, that's right. We also have seen that some other realms and planes of existence seem to be in a bit of uh, turmoil. Mm -hmm. uh, Obviously, the astral plane for the plane heist. Uh, we saw a long chained god. Who yeah, was missing who was that? A hand and an eye. And also, the heroes on Tuesdays, there was some sort of prison break in the archive of Primus, mm -hmm. and they also saw the hand and eye of Vecna. Maybe Vecna will play into that it. That should be fine. Maybe I'm just playing around. That should be fine. We don't know. Sometime. Yeah, so those are kind of some overarching meta things. Also, Tiamat is still a problem. Tiamat right. has made it her mission to mm -hmm. try to take out our original heroes and continue right. to try to break through and has been successful to some degree. Yeah. Only being thwarted by the heroes. So And Mordenkainen. And Mordenkainen. That was helpful. Uh, okay, what other threats? Speaking of wizards, there's a lot of play with the red wizards in our game. So, you know, I, there's a lot more, I think, to Thay. I, I don't think we've made them two-dimensional by any means. We haven't really explored them all that much yet, but we have made them pretty clearly... Uh, the term bad guys sounds so hollow for them. But they're they, nefarious. They're pretty nefarious. And they're, they're still pretty ambiguous and not much is known right. uh, by any of the, the current characters. They do seem to have their hands in just about every plot uh, mm -hmm. part of Tiamat for sure, and yeah. it seems even with, we saw them in Strahd and with the Amber, mm -hmm. uh, there's a good chance we're going to see them a bit more. Uh, they are, mm -hmm. they're, I mean, they're a huge force in Toril. Yeah, and, and, and just to be completely on the nose, because you're watching these lore videos, you kind of want to be, you know, on the inner in the inner circle of trust, sort of 
the Venn diagram of trust. Here you are. Uh, my character Tuesday night, Killian, is 100% a red wizard on the run. So that's kind of half the fun. Um, you know, kind of toying around with that and, and, and seeing how we can hint at that and then explore that a little more further. Yep. And keep tuned in for that as hey, it'll continue hey, to come Andrew. Out. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> We're doing Mac Lore 1997, man. You want in on this? Do you want to tell them some stuff? Yeah, come on in. Come on in. Okay. What well, kind of music did you bring? <laughs> it's a victory at sea. <laughs> nice. Tell us something about <laughs> the <laughs> open threads that we have. You probably well, have some. Well, you know. There's, <laughs> there's a... They do this. And they just there's just a bunch of... They're wiggly like this. You gotta tie them up. Tie them yeah. off. Uh, not open anymore. Okay, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what other... So, alright. We covered Red Wizards. We covered uh, Tiamat, we covered the shards of amber and what they are and mean. There are bits of uh, part of the shards of amber and otherwise as part of the fallout, uh, we should say that it's been mentioned, Kothai currently, mm, yeah. uh, Oldeveld and Skyreach has been rebuilt. It's been yep. built far larger. It's looking for one last component. Uh, so getting Skyreach and Oldeveld back up into the sky as a flying fortress is at least an open thread for the current heroes. Right. It might be a bit of a reach to get it back in the sky, but mm -hmm. sorry, uh, that was that was I was channeling Andrew's inner. Uh, I'm excited about that though. Skyreach is super cool, and I think we'll probably do Storm King's Thunder next, which I think does tie into our giant lore. Which I'm bummed that that wasn't streamed. You know, our whole first campaign was off stream. Yeah. There was a lot of fun stuff that we established, like these these giants they met in Old who were very Norse-like, and you know they had spirit quests. And they stuff. helped them. There is a yeah. There is a lot of things going on with where are the giants is one question. Mm -hmm. uh, why haven't we seen them? Uh, will be one that's answered, uh, hopefully. Yep, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. Do we have any more any other threads? Yeah. Ah. I'd say keep an eye out, at least in Tuesdays, for the words Martos, Axtios, Diamine. Oh, that was cool. That was from Genie in a Bottle, right? Or Wizard in a Bottle. <laughs> it was from <laughs> Christina Aguilar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep an eye out for those two. These are things to just keep an eye out for, yep. really. Yep. Cool stuff. Uh, yeah, it, it, the, the Mac Marches, if you've tuned into the first episode of that, that is the impetus behind that is... What we were talking about earlier, the sort of martial force uh, that's led pretty clearly by Caecilius. The, the characters just learned this, right? The characters. And, and uh, you know, that wasn't a huge reveal because he wasn't super tight with them, but they certainly knew who he was, or at least Nithbus did. So so there's another uh, thread that I think will be explored through there. So I think we kind of like the idea that, hey, all these threats have been apocalyptic and, you know, world ending, but it'd also be kind of fun to visit a straight up martial thread. Yep. That's been a long-term goal that got mm -hmm. sped up in yeah. a good way. Yep, so that should be pretty neat. Anything else you, you can think of? <sighs> Nothing specifically. we still got Mordenkainen and now Big D running yeah. around doing yeah. various things throughout the plane, so oh, who knows? So good. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for tuning in yeah. to Maclore 1997. Oh. We, it's, we've enjoyed it. <laughs> Again, let us, yeah, that's in post, holder. we're fixing it. Just placeholder. See ya. All right, we're back with another installment of Maclore 1997. I don't know why I, <laughs> yeah, I, don't know why I picked that. Uh, name. Better name. <laughs> to be determined later. <laughs> nope, that's the name. Just go Maclore 1997. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why I picked that. Uh, okay, so uh, we have discussed Tiamat, the, mm -hmm. the whole Tyranny of Dragons campaign. We're now going to talk about uh, where we started streaming, which is the Curse of Strahd campaign. Now, it doesn't have a lot of wide-reaching impacts on the uh, sort of main timeline, main lore of the Mac Gotten Realms, largely because it took place over two weeks. And it takes place in, in a, a demi plane. Demi -plane. <laughs> right. Uh, it some um, some things are important that that got out of it though, yeah. uh, and there are a couple. It's affected not only characters that have entered the realms, but some characters that are pre-existing, specifically mm -hmm. Nimbus. Right. Uh, 
But why don't you talk about the sure. setting for Barovia and, and the setup that we had? Yeah, yeah. So we started uh, in the town of Golden Leaf, which was Nithbis's sort of adventuring centric town. We started with a group of characters and followed them for a couple of little adventures. Side note: in the uh, world of Mac lore, they discovered. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Asir Zazawala, which was Salos' brother who was also dead and his soul was in hell. And that's what triggered the events that allowed our, what we call the OG characters, really the Rise of Tiamat characters, to enter hell and, and save. I love talking about this like this, like so seriously. Oh, like, no, I'm, I'm we entered hell um, and there was a dragon, f five heads. Uh, so anyway, so, um, so they discovered him. So that was kind of... Welcome back, everybody. In the library of Ravenloft, past so many of the rooms of weeping, just next to the chapel. Fighting through the hallways, the battle does not sound like it goes in your favor. <clears throat> and within here, six Vishtani step out of the walls onto the bookcases, quivering arrows, and as you just saw, an old elf scarred. The Chamberlain of Ravenloft, Rahadin, has unsheathed his scimitar. As he does, each one of you gets a chill down your spine as it's unche unsheathed. Oh, like the sword itself? Mm-hmm. And we're all gonna roll initiative. Tight. Hey, uh, also, I have a giveaway. Why don't I do that while you're oh, setting yeah. up initiative? It is a fully painted 28 millimeter figure, not unlike what you see before you, by our friend Adam, aka Nerdy Viking. Not Adam, the created man. He may have been. Well, yeah, we don't really. He may know. have been created. We don't know I don't his know backstory. Asked. I don't know his mom. Don't know his dad. Maybe don't. Maybe doesn't have either. But that is courtesy of our friend Nerdy Viking. You you know him. You've seen him. We're gonna kick that off momentarily here. Hopefully I set it up right on the break. <clears throat> oh. Yes. Okay. What did Nin we get? 19. 19. Okay. Romer? That's pretty good. It's no 18. 18. Killian? <laughs> 26. <laughs> oh, I've got 26. I need to look at this okay. real quick. Spike roof. Loss. And then... Three. Adam goes at the end. And... Okay. As you also see, actually, never mind. Well, we'll do that here in just a second. Killian, it is your go first. Okay. Well, since... Also, by the way, these bookcases, they are 30 feet up. Okay. Got it. Um, in that case, Killian will, uh, one second, I'm just making my mind about this. Yeah, it makes sense. Killian is going to cast Melf's Minute Meteors. He's going to put his hands together, and as he pulls them apart, six little balls of spinning fire appear and will begin to orbit him. I imagine they sort of orbit in like, uh, like you know, like planetary? an elliptical orbit yeah, yeah, around just... his head. Um, and he will then fire one of those off at a Vishtani. He'll just pick arbitrarily pick this one right Got here. It. Go ahead and roll for that me. That is an attack roll. Uh, yeah. Pretty sure that hit. And he will take... 2d6 points of damage, 7 points of damage. Now it is a bonus action to sling those, of which he has 5 remaining. How much damage was that again? Uh, what did I say? 6? It wasn't much. Okay. They just do a little bit of damage. Got it. It kind of digs into the shoulder for a second, the bow kind of comes down. Alright. Uh, and Anarchy will um... Yeah, I mean, she'll fly up here and give uh, Elven advantage on the attack. I don't know. He's going to move, so whatever. It doesn't matter. Anarchy does nothing. You know what? She'll fly, fly to help me. Them. Yeah, she'll fly to help me. I mean, I already hit the dude, but yep. she'll she'll be helping me from here on. Okay. All right. With a disgusting speed and a fleet of foot. <laughs> Over. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Oh, you're up front. The 
<laughs> the scimitar is letting off sparks as he lets the tip. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, will every one of you make me a wisdom save, please? Uh, I'm going to make that with advantage. I'm going to re-roll that. Oh, I have one re-roll, too. 20. Cool. Uh, I got a 20 also. Okay. Oh, Adam. Lee enough, you pass this, too. Romer. Romer. <laughs> All of you hear it. As the sword gets closer, you start to hear screams of agony. Romer, you immediately know it. It, one, brings back its own memories to you of battle. But you hear even people pleading the name Rod, and they're like, Rod, no, please, please! Ah! Ah!" It sounds a cacophony of murder that has taken place. You are frightened. Okay. Nice. You two manage to uh, make it through. That's both awesome and awful. All right, so I can't move towards him. No, you cannot. Yeah. And actually, he's going to go right between the two of you, in fact. Oh, not cool. just there. Cool, cool, cool. First attack is on you. Uh, never mind. That armor class is 17? Yep. Yes, it is. And actually, I'm, t- I'm sorry. I lied to you. You're not frightened. So don't worry about that. But okay. you are about to take some damage. <clears throat> Holy shit. You take 20 points of psychic damage as the screams fill your bones. Elvin, that was a hit on you. You take 12 points of slashing damage as the scimitar just... Next attack is on you, Killian. Absolutely misses. Because you don't have... Did you recast Mirror Image? Uh, yeah, I have Mirror Image. Oh, so oh, the first roll would have been... That first roll at is on you, then. It rolled it a four. Light. Okay, yep. Yep, gotta do it right. <laughs> okay. You feel like the Mirror Images are up. <clears throat> he spins his blade in a flourish and cuts right up you mm. and deep. You take 13 points of slashing damage. Alrighty. Just one moment. Uh, okay. Seems like your illusions won't work within this castle, fool. Concentration kind of save. I gotta re-roll, so I'm gonna not spend our pre-roll. Got it. The next is on Adam. Mrs. Adam, in fact. Adam brings up his the chain on his arm and, and sparks go across. As he's sitting there before you. Elvin, it is your go. Um, does Grasping Vine have, like, vertical limitations? Because you said they're 30 feet They're 30 up. feet up. So I couldn't, like, put it here, could I? Well, uh, what, you cast it on ground, right? I mean, I they're standing on ground. ground. Yeah. It just says in an unoccupied space that you can see. Yeah, consider the top of the bookcases can consider them a couple of feet out. So you could yeah. you could actually hit it, you know, in a consider there's a space next to Well the to each idea other. was since I can pull them up twenty feet before it, pull them off the ledge and make them fall to the ground. Oh, but, oh yeah. But if there's nowhere Dude, away from them. To what do about it. just I mean underneath them? I mean, because it attacks adjacent, right? You could do it on, on the, the wall underneath. Them. You could do it on the wall. Okay. I, don't, yeah. I don't see why not. Hell yeah. Okay, then I'll put it on the wall up there between them, in such a way that. Yeah, got it. Um, so they will make, or well, it's one at a time. So, this, uh, I will pick. Uh, sorry, this guy needs to make a fifth or a sixteen deck save. Makes it. Mm. Okay, then nothing Jerk. happens to him. Uh, so that's my one. But the grafting vine is still there. But um, And then uh, I will just Bramble Savagery our boy in front of me. 26. You hit. Or 16. Nice. 
as you drag claws across him and you see him focus like <sighs> and lock eyes with you. But he doesn't. He's fine. Just watching for the end of the raffle here. <clears throat> Romer. Alright, I'll step up. 3D. Uh, move my hex to him. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll make it strength. Got it. And I'll attack. 14? No. Yeah, that one not. So. I'll attack again. 26. That is a hit, yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be... Uh, 15 on that one. 15, okay. I'm going to action surge. Got it. So these next two attacks are going to be auto crits. I'm going to use my uh, um, feature. Yeah, my Do feature it up. from the from the thing. Nice. Uh, so Don't save it. I will tell you that. I'm going to spend this for this attack. Yeah, man. Yes. Make sure. Do it up. It's uh, a twenty. Yes, that is it. All right. So I'm going to Woo. use my Eldritch Smite. And expend a spell slot. Oh my god, yes. To do an extra 4d8 force damage mm -hmm. base, which is then doubled. So that will be 8d8, and then I'll do another 66 from the sword and hex on top of that. So you need yeah. some dice? Sure, man. No, I think I'm okay. Just roll them all on it. They won't notice. So I'll just wreck. <laughs> Oh man, that's what we need. I need a thing on the stream deck to have <laughs> Unreal the Dark announcer. Souls. No, oh, the yeah. Dark Souls text come up like wrecked. <laughs> uh, so that's on that one. And then... Thank you, Corey. Oh, what's up? Thanks, Corey. Hey, certainly. The, Might the, still the... need it. <gasps> Maffle in. Uh, four, four. Oh, my, I can't whisper things to you. Um. Thank you, Corey. Appreciate that, man. Uh, so that one did uh, 75 damage. A mere 75 damage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, uh, you slide right past and dig in Ajatha and stab through. He manages to pull it out. Wow. All right. My second attack. Doing it again. <laughs> I'm going to use this. Yeah, thank you. And by the way, looks like there were two more. Thank you, Cranio Dad. Really appreciate that, man. Oh, damn. There were two more? Uh, that's a 26. <laughs> Suddenly his armor yeah. class has gone up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to expend my second Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> Do it. See if you could top 75. And we had a winner for the raffle as well. Coconut Monkey, another Richmonder. So what's up, oh, my dude? That's Tony. Heck yeah, Tony. Coconut Monkey, congrats. Yeah, Thank you, Cranio Dad. So we got two more of these, is yeah, that right? two more courtesy of Cranio Dad. Thank y'all. Uh, well, I didn't see the ones at first. Yeah. Right, closing computer. Closing. Roll. Holy shit. <laughs> you rolled uh, all fives and sixes on this? That's, uh, wait. So that's, uh, uh, that is 73 damage. That's awesome, man. <laughs> wow. Just did 148 damage. That's incredible. You, you dig it in again as he just, ah, he's like, and you can feel. You can feel the hate, the contempt in him, and you can feel the screams. Oh, like from the blade? From the blade. As you just continue to try to hold it, almost even to silence them. I'm done. That was pretty solid. <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. I mean, I've seen better, but... Okay. What about a, a AOE plus single target takedown combo? We could go on raids to get better gear, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to. Uh, okay. Both of these two are firing on you, Elvin. Hi. That armor class is 17? Yeah, unless you roll well, then it'll be more. Uh, no. Actually, both of them miss. These two will be firing at you. Kill him. Okay. Uh, first roll is mirror image. All right, so let me do this one by one, then. So here's him. Roll an 11. That's an image. Okay. 
And a definite hit. Yep. Thank you, Mirror. And this one is rolling again on you. That is me. Uh, Did not yeah. get you. Cool. Okay. Uh, By the way, I'm, I'm going to retroactively roll my concentration, which I didn't do. Please. Uh, I may have to reduce the damage. If oh, I yeah. It's a hex. Which I don't. Okay. Uh, this one. I saw this. I was going to use that. Yeah. Both of these are going to fire at you, Romer. After what you've done. Are they firing crossbows? Yeah. yeah. One gotcha. Okay. Dude, you didn't just shy of 150 damage in one turn. I did, I, and I didn't. I, I missed. Well, that's not including the first attack I hit with, too. Oh, that's right, because you action surged. You take eight damage. Okay. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Out of the corner there. I'm good. A vampire spawn mm. crawls across the walls and jumps onto Adam and and bites in to his neck. <laughs> and a moment later, it <laughs> Adam throws it off, looks, sees the dwarf that's fallen, has a war hammer next to it. He reaches down, ties off the chain, Picks up the hammer again, and into the corner he Tight. and tosses. And That's pretty awesome. I will say that hit. And while that happens, you start to see electricity emanating from him. From who? Adam. Really? Yeah. Oh, very In a cool. small area around you. Very cool. He pulls it back. And then tries to hit again. Don't get either one of them, unfortunately. All right. He's found some new cool But he's abilities. just... <laughs> as a hammer is dragging across the floor. Okay. Killian. All right. Uh, I'm going to have Anarchy swoop down. Give me advantage on... Oh, drink. <laughs> <laughs> she going before you? Yeah, yeah okay. always. She'll okay. always, go, always go before me unless I say otherwise. Sorry. Gotcha. Always do that. Um, she will swoop down and give me advantage on a shocking grasp on this boy. Okay. Uh, yeah, 25, I imagine, 25. is good. And I'm going to expend my one usage of uh, 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 Power Surge, which will add my um, end mod to the damage. I've done my damage for this fight. I cleared the hall for us. I did six damage, uh, and now that he can no longer take reactions, going to back into this corner and sling another meteor at the dude up there. As a bonus action. Yeah, 21. And they're just 2d6. Uh, Nine damage. By the way, I'm never going to do that combo again. I just wanted to do it once. It's broken. And I think it's unbalanced the way with my particular combo. That I, I knew I knew it was coming. Yeah, I wasn't going to do anything to stop yeah. it. I'm, I'm just I wanted to see it myself. I just wanted to see it once, and I was like, "Nope, I'm." It done. was pretty bad. Uh, I will never do it again. I'll I'll switch back probably just to the, the warlock ability. All right, warned up. Uh, that one goes down. That Vistani. Uh, that you hit. Can he Wilhelm scream? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> Okay. okay. And I have four meteors left. Well, Elvin, it makes an attack on you. Afraid it got gotcha. you. You take 10 damage. It will attack you again. I'm going to have to give him disadvantage so I don't. On. Um, no. right, well, it's the same attack. All right. It's just doing the same thing. Yeah. I'll let it go. Okay, never mind. Let it go? Yeah. Okay. Getting a little worried. Missed. Okay. And then one comes on you, Romer. Rolled a 19. No, got nothing for that? No, no I'm, okay. I'm spent. All right. You take eight yeah, damage. Just about there. All right, so... Concentration... And after that, 
in a puff of mist. <laughs> he misty steps. Ooh. Uh, Where to though? Like back here? Uh, no, misty step on top of a bookcase. Oh, okay. So, so he. <sighs> cool. You don't look so good. I'm gonna take your fucking head. Maybe. Elvin. Okay. Um, I'll start by bonus action Try trying to pull. to pull that guy. So, <laughs> deck save. Could you fail that? Come on, it was gonna be cool, Sean. Just roll back. I'm sure you're glad I wasted a 20 on that yeah, deck save. That's true. Um, and then I will. Well, then I will. Uh, actually, I'm gonna lash at this guy with my druid crap root. Sorry. Oh, I went in the other way. That's right. I got it. I got it. Uh, you got it. So a con save from him for druid crafting. Oops. Whipping. Sorry. Long screen. Sean. If you're... It's fine. You try to find... And you can, like, kind of start to feel it. I mean, he's a... He's what's called a dusk elf. And you see him nice. focus... And it wither as it's tra- as it as quickly as you're starting it. It's just withering, and he's kind of moving out of it. He's it. also connected to nature, but the dark Shadow nature fell. of the shadow fell. I hate like it. No, I will just be a scaredy boy. Right next to the vampire spawn. What vampire spawns in the corner? Oh, I'm sorry, you can oh, push oh, it. Oh, she, she, yeah. yeah, throw him back. Right. Okay. No. That's a spooky little it spawn. Is. Yeah. Look at that thing. I don't know how well these ever show up on camera, but... That's Spooky Spawn. Okay, Romer. Uh, bonus action, I'm going to um, uh, heal myself with my second wind. For seven. And I'm going to fire two Eldritch Blasts at him. Okay. No. Making up for six and a two. He just and I mean, it's not that you are off. It's he's, he's insanely fast. There's almost a double image as he moves. Oh, I'm just gonna move to there. Come on down. I won't bite. Looks down his nose at you. Okay. All right. Those mm-hmm. chills are 20 feet tall? 30. 30? 30. 30. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, this one's firing at you, Elbin. Stop. Misses. This one's firing at you. Also misses. Okay. Uh, let me start with what I know. These two on this side. That one up there is firing at you. Mm-hmm. Kill him. So it is an image. Image. Uh, your armor class? Uh, actually, does it does. Amount of images here. I thought it was a 12. Oh, it's 15. Oh. I have, I have audit, cast mage armor any time from my wand. Oh, I didn't know that. Unlimited mage image. armor. I thought it was just dex. Oh, because oh, I hit an I'm image. I'm sorry, you're right, it is. Right. It is just yeah. dex. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was thinking about my regular right. armor class. You're right. Uh, this one. You can shoot at me. I mean, I'm sure you could. Uh, they're also seem like they know what they're doing. Uh, also gonna fire on you, Elvin. You're 17. No, that doesn't hit. And I think I only have one left. I'm gonna roll yeah. for... Uh, it's actually killing. So this is to see if it hits a image. It does not. Hits me. Uh... Bam. Uh, Do you use the shield, or...? I'm not gonna use the shield. Yeah. You got me. Hmm. Well, you take four damage. Okay, but most important, Correct. concentration save. Oh yeah, I should have been making a concentration save. Uh, it passes exactly. Wait, I got a hit. Uh, yes. Could have his reaction though. Actually, I got hit plus four to a failed save. Times. His reaction. I think you only got hit twice from different things. I'm also concentrating. Pass. Fail. That grasping vine is gone. <laughs> yep. 
grasp the vine. No well, longer. cool idea, but Sean ruined it. <laughs> uh, this vampire spawn comes back at Adam. Hits with one. Do that. Adam, you see, focuses and it starts getting electrocuted. And again, just he by touching him. Just he. Oh. It's almost like he's focusing the energy as its lightning is coming out. And then he swings. That's cool. Absolutely hits hits that. And then actually again, both. This time you see him toss it back, swing around, and I mean it just slams kind of into the bookcases. Books are being destroyed all around you. There's pages flying and kind of fluttering down to the ground. Tight. Probably not the important ones though. Well, one would hope not. That's the question. What books? All right. Uh, Killian will have sweet baby Raven fly over here, give advantage on the attack roll against him, and fire a firebolt up at him, being very careful to avoid books, if at all possible. Yeah. 24. 24. 4. Let's not roll double ones again. Uh, okay, 15 fire damage to him. And then we'll bonus action to sling a meteor at this guy right here. Let's try to deal with him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He will take four damage from the meteor. Very good. Okay. Actually, runs. Oh. Actually, nah. He's not even. Yeah. No. Oh, fuck yeah. He runs against the wall. I don't even have him do that. To me. Mm-hmm. This is fine. Mm-hmm. It's an attack. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna cast a shield, so my AC is twenty. Okay. Might as well get the rest of them. Well, yeah. there, were there mirror images? Oh, yeah, there oh. was. That was me. That okay. was actually. Yeah. He did hit me. So go ahead and roll your attack. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm still going to cast the shield. It. Yeah. Yep. Roll the so, exact same. Shield comes up. On the Second one. attack. This is, on, this is on me. It's 11 or higher for the mirror. And. Missed. Here's again. On the mirror. Mm-hmm. So he only needs a 12 to hit the mirror. Absolutely. So mirror, mirrors are gone. Okay. Would you make me, both of you make me, actually no, all, all three of you make me a wisdom saving throw, please. Give me one of those, I need it. Yeah. You know what, I'm gonna do it too, I, my wisdom sucks. 16. Natural 20! Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got a not natural 20, but Thank a 20 you. nonetheless. Not this was natural, Kusada, right? Not natural, uh, that was 16. I mean, uh, uh, no, that was uh, Cranio Dad. Cranio Dad. was mine, Thank you, which Cranio also Dad. saved me. So, Thank you, Cranio. Richmond to represent. Richmond rolls thick as thieves, I think. <laughs> Holy shit. Oof. Uh, 21 psychic damage as... The screams of death, wanton death, the opposite of everything you're there. Just, ah, ah, ah. you see Elbin go to his knees with tears in his eyes as he falls. Wait, are you down? Yeah, Yeah. he's down. God. Next it is Elbin. Fail. Fail. One failed death save so far. As Elbin, you you feel the rot of Barovia. The ash, the darkness. There's not even any worms in the ground. Romer. Uh, move me over to him? Mm-hmm. So it's an action to give the potion to someone else. That's right. Okay. You're sweet. Greater healing. Yep. Uh, 
Uh, 15. You're at 50. I love you. <laughs> I know. So that was... How far was that? Five, ten, was that 15? Looks like uh, it. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I sh- Oops. <laughs> and I just, He's back. I <laughs> drug my sword across him as I passed <laughs> Oops. <across. laughs> Killian, you see Romer run, slide to a knee, pull out a potion, kind of manage to, you know, move the mouth of Elbin as it's pouring through and Elbin, you're back and you're in a library with pages falling all over, but there's still the echoes of suffering in your ears. Get on your feet, boy. <laughs> okay. Well, I have to wait my turn. Uh, let's oh, see. This one will take a disadvantage shot at you while you're prone. You're welcome. <laughs> Does get you though. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> you take seven points of damage. <laughs> Don't uh, get knocked down. <laughs> All right. Uh, this one is firing at you, Romer. Mm-hmm. Did not get you. The next one is firing at you also. Oops. I did. You take five points of damage. And then both of these are trying to hit you. So here's the first one to see if they hit an image. Yeah. Uh, No, my image is gone. Image is gone. So So you're just hitting me straight up. Okay. All right. Then here's this one on you. No. You are a 20 right now, right? I am a 20. No. They... (laughs) Off of your shield. Does shield last to the start of your turn or to the end of your turn? To the start of your next turn. This, like a what do they call the attacks of opportunity mm. you would have to cast a fresh one yep I, I'm gonna just narratively have this fight happening over here as as this vampire spawn is kind of pulling at the sutures and tearing it as Adam is still just using lightning to just and tossing it around uh, actually he will you pull that archer off over here. This one? Yeah. He slams the vampire spawn down and then whoo, just hurls the chained hammer and just the head of this thing kind of explodes as he pulls it back down. Nice. That's pretty sweet. I love that. Killian. All right, boys. Final, final spell slot here. <laughs> Killian is going to first... She is going to swoop over here, and she's actually going to help Adam for this turn, just to get her out of the way. Then Killian is going to line up the shot and shoot a lightning bolt through him and into that guy as well. Okay. So it'll be a dex save from them. Ooh, we don't have any... <sighs> yeah. He is unfortunately going to choose uh, to this. I figured you had that, so I never bothered with so, or anything. So, this one over here, ah, failed. All right. You can... But roll it anyway. 12. He's still taking half. 15, oh, yeah. 18, 20, 26. So he'll take 13. And then I will fire another one of my minute meteors. You know what? I'm just going to try to like sling it right into him in front of me. So I will attack with disadvantage. Don't even care. Watch me care. Don't. No. That'd be a 14. No. 14. No. Close. <laughs> no. All right, that's me. Last, I got three more level one spells, but the only level one spell I have prepared is shield. <laughs> okay, so you, you're still at twenty then, because it's. Oh no, I'm not, not. But I mean, if he's attacking me, it's safe to say I'm going to be at twenty. He's going to attack you. Shielding. Yes. Okay. That doesn't get you then. Second attack mm. also doesn't get you. Just kill you, like, backing up. It'll take a third one on you, though. Damn. I rolled eight, seven, <laughs> But I do need all of you to make a wisdom save, oh, please. Oh, no, man. Man, you... Nah, dude. 16. Natural 20. Failed. Damn it. <laughs> I gotta roll higher than a 16. Damn, dude. I have a zero bonus, so... Ugh. 14. Oof. Boys. Oh, God. Down I go. I dropped my D10. <laughs> he's 
messed up. Like he is not he's missing his attacks. <laughs> yeah. No doubt, no doubt. He's he is not nearly has the same flourish at mm-hmm. all, but you can see what he's lacking in kind of hitting you. He's focusing and the screams are just getting louder. Mm-hmm. That's an ominous mm-hmm. eight here. Mm-hmm. You made me waste a potion on you. <laughs> 13 damage, psychic. Okay. That'll do it. I believe we got a subscription coming in there. What? Ooh, y'all did get a subscription, so thank you. Look, I'm, I'm squabbling for any dice we can get there, so. <laughs> thank you for that subscription. That is a divine pre-roll. Uh, use that, Phyllis. That is him, Elbin. A death save, please. Make this one. Made it. Mm-hmm. Good. One pass, Romer. All right. Well, I'll attack him. Okay. My sword. Uh, crit. Ooh. 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 About time you pulled your weight. I know. <laughs> Only had another spell slot. Do that <laughs> All right. We roll these. Keep those. So this. Uh, that's 28 damage. Romer. <laughs> Explain to me how Ra- how the butcher and executioner Rahadin meets his end after over 800 years and so over 2,000 lives killed. So again, for the first blade, I just jab it into him like the same spot I hit him before, and he kind of crumples down. With my other attack, I grab his hair and then just boom, and just cut his head off and then kick his body back and then just toss his head back into the into the middle of the room and look at the other Vistani. You can leave if you want. They, at this point, they do not, but I will tell you what happens. You, easily, you see Adam have the vampire spawn that's just going and he puts his hands on the bottom jaw and the others on the top are just <laughs> nice. kind of splits open. You're shooting cantrips, they're falling. Adam is just using his chain hammer and kind of pulling it around. You've nearly brought the library just completely wrecked at this point. The swords, the sounds of screaming are dissipating. All of you feel uplifted somehow. It's like the room just got lighter by doing it. Killian, you see one of the books that has fallen. The marble is just circling around it. Mm, oh, that's right. I forgot you'd let that go. Killian will run over and snatch it up and like put it in his cloak. Are there any windows in this room? Uh, yeah. Actually, there are. A couple high ones. We have to get going. Killian, as you look down... Anarchy pecks at one book. The book I'm picking up or another book? A different book. All right. And you can't quite read it all, but it's a history of all the well-known ancient mages and magis. All right, he'll come over. Good looking out, Anarchy. I have that one, too. <laughs> Put that in his... You can... You could try to get out the windows if you want to. You'd have to stack a few things up, break them, and... Do you want to investigate that, or do you want to try to fight back through? I would think that we would try to break out. We're wrecked. Yeah. yeah. I'm fine, but yeah, you guys probably need some help. <laughs> uh, do you have any potions left? Yeah, I got some healing potions. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what happens. You have to stack up a few things to get to the windows. You look down. It is a bit of a drop, but with your ropes handy. You break a window. Oh man, Adam can drop By the way, hammer. I'm going to take the cloak off of the Fallen Elf if he had one. If not, I'll use mine and I'll wrap that sword up. I'm not going to touch it. Oh, his sword? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And bring it with us. Yeah. Mm. He has a cloak. You can kind of tie it. I mean, just kind of throw it over my shoulder. Even as you have cloth between it, though, it... Barely enough to feel like. Well, I have my armor on, so I'm hoping that yeah. helps. Yeah, just the flashes of yeah. suffering. You're not suffering any ill effects, but it's just the screams get loud when you even have to put it back. You're just like, I mean, it sends chills down your spine. Yes, Adam. 
drops anchor with mm-hmm. with that. Nice. And he holds this end as you all start kind of descending down. Adam crawls across some of like the kind of bricks that are going down that you wouldn't be able to reach. Your arms just aren't that long. Jumps the last bit. And all of you start making your way outside of the castle grounds. And you look up in the precipice, the outcropping from Ravenloft. You can see the battle is not going well. And you can't hear it, but you see Mordenkainen with robes just blowing in the wind, holding some sort of warbling energy. Strahd seems to be absorbing it into a sword. Breaks it, Mordenkainen's hands go, and you see Strahd cut up Mordenkainen with claws, dig a sword in, say something, and then shove. And the world goes silent as you watch the figure of the greatest mage ever known. Into the river. You see Strahd turn, and he's limping back inside. And he dies from blood loss. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go. Rust. We will make haste. As you run outside of the gates, the easiest way this fighting has spilled out into the city of Barovia, and you see the wolves crack, moving around to avoid them, kind of get close to the woods and the river and you see Morton kind of washed up on the shore go over and check him actually you know what I'm gonna dump one of my healing potions in his mouth he's he was barely breathing and he <gasps> he grabs you and pulls you in he's like he knows he knows that I know the ritual Understand. He was asking me about it. He got into my mind, the Asimar ritual. Now he knows about it and he knows I know. He's strong. He's so strong here. The dreadlords. Uh, I have to leave. I can't leave this place. But I have to stop him. He's got a track on me. He can hear my thoughts. I know he can hear them now. And help you stop the gods, but you have to stop them. Can you help us get to safety? Can you send us even a mile south? Can you do anything for us? He's like, oh, I have just enough to do it. He looks back and he's like, oh, what have I done? And he's like, oh, this first though. Stop! <laughs> looks around. He's like, who are all of you? Where are we? Well, your friends, you were about to... You were about to send us a mile south. To safety. You're in grave danger and you need to run. And hide. Yes. That I knew. I knew. Strahd, the Dreadlord. A pantheon. I, it's also muddled now. It's like... And I was teleporting you a mile away. To the uh, south. We have to reach the ruins of Berez. Yeah, I can just let me remember the spell. <laughs> I know it. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Focus. Focus, Morton. Focus. You all blink out. And you're in, standing in a field, a cornfield. The clearing is there and you see a hut much like that of the Baba Yaga, mm. but on grasping vines. As you look out of the fog in the cornfield, you see s- scarecrows. Reach into the hole for the, was it horns? They were horns, right? They were horns. Yeah. Do we have to blow them in order? Yeah, but after talking to the Lasaga, oh, I was think. Oh, to her? Oh, I thought that summoned her. Uh, how far is that? Not far. Alright. <laughs> Killian's just like 50 feet. Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm holding Elvin up. Yeah. Oh, man. A- Adam's carrying him. Oh, there we go. Even better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Adam. Carry him. Adam absolutely picks you up gently, too, and is 
<laughs> I think at some point while he was carrying me, I would say, did you feel it back there? The way the world got lighter when we destroyed some evil in it? I did feel it. I feel the most real now that I have felt. And I see what we must do. We were not born, perhaps, but we have life to protect. That's right. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gidwish, for another Ooh. subscription. Thank you, sir. It'll be good for the combat to come now. Uh, <laughs> what? No. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I went full. I have no. nothing. We got a long rest of that teleport. <laughs> You know, time works. You are standing outside of the hut, and the door opens. And this time a beautiful woman comes out and kind of saunters down the stairs, barely wearing anything, in fact. All of you are. I know know she's probably disguised for which went down. (laughs) She comes out, she's like, Yes? We were sent by your sister. Which one? Yaga. Baba Yaga. Ah. She said you could help us leave this place. She gave us these horns to be blown in order. Pull up the horns. But who am I to argue with my older sister? She spoke highly of you. Hmm. That's so nice. (laughs) You're so hot, (laughs) Yaga. She, like, come in. Come in. All right. As you cross the threshold, you see a kind of ramshackle, small, just hut. Elvin, you're kind of looking because you're being held, and you look over, and there's a bathtub. And it looks strange. It looks like it's filled with blood, milk, and honey. Kind of swirling around. Take a step. <laughs> Morning like smoothie. <laughs> sure. You could blow them and leave, or you could stay. I could introduce you to my son. Oh, that sounds very lovely, but we're very late. We're very behind schedule. But how lovely for you. Thank you. I'm sure he's a good boy. (laughs) Each one of you. They get deeper and deeper. And she kind of fades away. But the hut stays. But things are rearranged when you get back. No tub, no nothing. So you look out one of the windows. You see the graveyard by the Baba Yaga, and you can see her out there counting fingers. <sighs> As I said, everyone, hubris. Hubris has brought down the greatest and the worst. Luckily, our heroes made it out, but hopefully, hubris won't cost them their victories later. And so ends Barovia. Mm. Gothic horror. He had a ton of hit points. Yeah, man. So ends level seven. Am I right, guys? (laughs) No. I am afraid not. Well done killing the Chamberlain. That's why we didn't see him in Ravenloft. You never saw him in in our regular Strahd game. Yeah, I kind of cut him. Nice. So that explains it. That was awesome. The good good tie-ins, watching Morden kind of go crazy. That was good. Casting mind blank on himself. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. That was awesome. Good job, guys. Yeah. I would good level you, but you. I just did, and I'm not <laughs> yeah, going to yeah, do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we, you could. We'll wait for we that. Would, I mean, it really is up tell to anybody. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop the stream. Do we level? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. Tune in Sunday. We are... We are going through the beginning of the end. We are into the ending of Waterdeep Dragon Heights. We are hot on the trails of Manshoon mm-hmm. with the incredible Withering Orchid. Don't miss that. We got more giveaways. If we have any left over, we'll do some more giveaways on 
Uh, Wednesday? Next Tuesday. We've also got Macalites Monday, Wednesday. we got giveaways for days. I will. I Give forgot. I will be on Macalites on Monday yeah, doing will. a guest spot with a drow named Nero. Nice. <laughs> cool. I've uh, been watching Star Trek Nemesis. Or no. Yeah, it's Nemesis, right? Is any name Nero in that? I can't even. I've seen that like once because it's so bad. I don't remember. Is that Nero? I don't know. Maybe not. I'm getting confused on my start. Anyway, thank you everyone for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Adios. Hmm? Oh, Roswell gave us one.